What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 7pn chapter 136 The progress of Rapeseed team Although the road was noisy, they also knew the time was urgent and the speed did not slow down at all. Shadow Clone also told the three people about the victory of the palace team, so that they could fight with peace of mind. However, things did not go so smoothly, after landing again, they found no new beasts and could only walk on their own feet. Just as they arrived at Rapeseed Flowers, before they had time to look for the enemy, they saw a ship falling from the sky and crashing into the center of the town. This is the ship driven by Mr. One and Miss, which flew directly over with the help of the slope of the port. At the same time, the Baroque workers lurking in the town lit torches, and for a while fire broke out and smoke filled the air. The town that was bustling just now suddenly turned into a hell on earth. Shadow Clone retreated, specifically holding the round stone plate to deal with this situation. With the input of Chakra, dark clouds gathered above the town. The three of Zoro continued their action and headed to the center of the town, which was not only the landing point of the ship, but also the most lively place in the town. The enemies are most likely there. Just as they expected, a sudden heavy rain extinguished the frame-up part of the Utopia plan. Obviously not long ago, the king was still claiming that he stole the rainwater, but in the blink of an eye, it started raining heavily here. The leader of the rebel army, Kosha, had thoughts racing in his mind, and he didn't know how to understand the situation at the scene. Is what the king said true, but why did it rain here after he said that? What the king said was false, but Alabasta has indeed not seen a drop of rain in many years. Without giving him time to clear his mind, Mr. One, who was a monk, and Mr. Two, who became a king, joined forces to attack him. This heavy rain ruined the frame-up plan. They temporarily changed their minds, killed Kosha, and turned Mr. Two into Kosha to start a war. Mr. One is responsible for the main attack, and Mr. Two, the king version, goes up and kicks him from time to time, telling the people around him that the king is also participating in the war. When Kosha heard the news about the king's appearance, he rushed here immediately. Not only did he not bring his men, he didn't even bring any weapons. He could only avoid the attack in embarrassment. Mr. Two's men and Miss, pretending to be the king's army, are hunting down the surrounding residents. They couldn't kill them all, but they had to spread the news that the king attacked the leader of the rebel army and the leader of the rebel army escaped death, so as to arouse the anger of the people. It was at this moment that Zoro and the two men broke through to Kosha's side like divine soldiers descending from the sky. Blocking Mr. One's five fingers that turned into blades, Zoro's inner fighting spirit was ignited and he couldn't help but grin. I thought it would be a boring operation, but I didn't expect to meet a special swordsman like you. Mr. One, the monk headed man, had no expression on his face and said coldly. Roranoa Zoro, the strongest bounty hunter in East Blue, when I first saw your portrait, I thought I was wrong. Why stop our plan? Of course it's to save our partner's country. What a pity. Mr. One's fingers returned to their original shape, but a circular blade protruded from his arm. I am a user with the ability to cut the quick cut fruit, I can turn any part of my body into a blade. In other words, my whole body is made of steel, and I am the natural enemy of swordsmen like you. You lose. Zoro didn't reply, he put away his sword and stood up, he took out the Wado Ichimanji from his waist and assumed an EI posture. Open black lens bracket it or you EI Shishigesh close black lens bracket the moment he sprints forward, he draws his sword and slashes at the enemy at extremely fast speeds. Steel. Can't stop this knife. Phew. Blood spurted out from Mr. One's chest, but Zoro had no intention of declaring victory, he held back his strength. Sorry, I'll win. He pulled out three knives and performed his signature three knife style, his eyes filled with excitement. And I will get stronger, he wants Mr. One to be his whetstone. The state of cutting iron is not stable yet, and only the one sword style can guarantee cutting of steel. Regardless of whether the Zantetsu realm is stable or armament hockey is not advanced, it will be impossible to defeat the enemy with the three sword style. The two of them moved the battlefield with a clang, and it was really impossible to perform here. Sanji kicked over the king's version of Mr. Two, because clone clone fruit can imitate even the physique, we can't expect a middle-aged man who manages a country to have super physical abilities, so the king's version of Mr. Two is just a weakling. Seeing the king version of Mr. Two running away in a panic, he pulled out two of his swan neck decorations from a fallen subordinate. Sanji turned around and helped Kosa, who was all injured, with a tone of envy or jealousy. You are Vivi Chan's childhood sweetheart, Kosha, right? Have more trust in Vivi Chan's father and wait here. Sanji lit a cigarette, loosened his tie, and strode towards Mr. Two. You'll know what's going on when I kick this dead demon over. Sanji didn't need to move his feet. Mr. Two, sensing that the battle was about to begin, returned to his true self. His eyes were fierce but his expression was a bit hesitant. After struggling several times, he finally asked. Where is the little hedgehog? Little hedgehog? Which bastard hedgehog are you talking about? That's right, how could he do that kind of thing? The slave family was almost killed by a little crocodile. Are you stupid? No matter how you treat your enemy, it's not too much, right? Ah! Oh. Mr. Two was shocked, as if he had just realized what had happened, 
That's right. He is indeed an idiot. Sanji stopped talking to the shemale and kicked Mr. Two in the abdomen. Although Mr. Two was not a regular person, he was still a kicking expert. The two of them started fighting one by one, and it was a stalemate for a while. Seeing the enemy, Usopp instinctively wanted to run away, but was stopped forcibly. Aiming at the fake king's troops, through the pouring rain and the thick smoke produced by the flames extinguishing, lead bullets were fired continuously, hitting the enemies accurately. He activated his fruit ability and used the spikes growing from his feet to move quickly on the wall. I made so many props just for now, after reaching a high place, as a sniper, support is his home field. When Zoro and Sanji started taking action, Usopp was not idle either. I am a brave sea warrior, however, when he looked up and looked for the enemy, he found that there was no one around him, only the fake king's army lying on the ground. Sure enough, the father was right, the king did not betray the country. I will win. I can win. Calm down. Calm down. He breathed heavily and mentally constructed. Kosha suddenly came to his senses. Such heavy rain would definitely attract the rebels next door, but before that, he had to save the residents as much as possible. Because it was raining heavily, there was a risk of flameout when using the Firebird Star, and the power of lead bullets was somewhat insufficient, so Usopp focused on his eyes and the position of the golden egg to strike. What stupid things have you done before? Being led by the hands behind the scenes will only hurt the people of this country in the end. What kind of sea warrior would you be if you run away now? After coming back to his senses, Kosha finally realized that he had been deceived, and felt a trace of regret and joy in his heart. Until all the miscellaneous fish were dealt with, Miss finally locked his position with her fingers. Usopp's usual training is not ineffective. Usopp can hit even partially obscured enemies by feeling. Adds by Bid Gear Chapter 137 Rapeseed Team's Respective Gains. First, this. Usopp took out a belt from his crossbody bag and gained a little more confidence in this fight. The special Usopp has the ability to retract the rope, plus a replaceable hook lock head. Finally, there are the spring shoes underfoot. With these, I can move freely around the building. Tightening the slingshot in his hand, Usopp straightened his waist and aimed his belt at the three story building in the distance. Boom! The hook lock loaded on the belt was launched and accurately hit the roof of the opposite building. The rope contracted, driving Usopp to fly over. Using the spring shoes under his feet to slow down the impact, Usopp landed smoothly. In this way, Usopp and Miss started a guerrilla war with their fingers. Whenever Miss's fingers are about to get close, Usopp uses the hook lock to quickly move away. Move to a new position and sniper again. Miss's fingers quickly figured out how to deal with it. Instead of walking through the open streets, she got into the alleys between the houses. Use the house as a shield to prevent your figure from appearing in Usopp's sight. At the beginning of the first year of junior high school, this countermeasure caught Usopp off guard. His shoulders were pierced, and there were several more holes in his body, which further widened the distance. He activated his senses with all his strength and locked on the position of Misitz's fingers. 50 meters, 100 meters, 200 meters. The range of perception is getting wider and wider, and Misitz's fingers can no longer get close to Usopp's position. In the end, the situation was reversed. Miss felt something was wrong with her fingers and started to run away. Usopp became the chasing party. Relying on his awakened vision and his sniping ability, Usopp successfully hit Mizitz's two fingers with an ultra-long range hammer star. However, something unexpected happened. When she went to pick up the hammer, Miss held her last breath with both hands, preparing to launch a counterattack against Usopp. Forced, Usopp picked up a small hammer and had a close quarters fight with her, once again, she had a few more holes in her body, and finally defeated the powerful enemy. In this battle, Usopp successfully awakened his sense of knowledge and defended his title of maritime warrior. The battle between Zoro and Mr. One was one-sided. It's not that Zoro is dominant, but Mr. One is suppressing Zoro. With eagle eyes as his goal, Zoro's desire to become stronger has always been very strong. If you say you don't need it, you don't need it. Even if your whole body is injured, you don't need it. It is said that it is easier to break through the limit between life and death, and if the enemy does not have the strength to force you into a desperate situation, then put limits on yourself. Shen revealed all the plans, the palace team had succeeded, and he and others had also successfully stopped Mr. One and others. As long as Luffy and Shin defeat Crocodile, Vivi's country will be completely liberated. If the situation was urgent, he would directly kill Mr. One, but now that victory was close at hand, he could put aside his worries and train himself. Mr. One took action with all his strength, his fruit abilities were constantly activated, and his heart was filled with the anger of being insulted. He could clearly kill him with one sword, but he only left skin wounds. He can clearly cut through steel, but now he's using the three sword style trick. Why don't you fight with all your strength even though you are covered in injuries? Do you think you have the situation under control and can kill me at any time? Are you looking down on me? Roar Noah, mode dust chopping knife? The soles of both feet turned into blades, and they lunged forward as if they were wearing skates. At the same time, the fingers and palms turned into blades, aiming at Zoro's heart. Jung, the three knives crossed and collided with the mode dust cutting sword. 
Zoro was breathing heavily, but his eyes were filled with excitement. The two collided again and separated from each other. Taking a deep breath, Zoro straightened his back, which was stooped due to injuries, and took out the word, Wado, from his mouth. Armament hockey appeared on his hands, covering the three swords in his hands with a masterful skill, and the originally clear blades turned black. Armed color, it's not difficult. He opened the corner of his mouth and bit head out Yizzy again, his eyes sharp. I'll kill you with the next move. Stop looking down on people, pirate hunter. Mr. One's arms turned into blades, and he once again charged with the blades under his feet. Zoro showed no fear and assumed a demon slayer stance. Open black lens bracket destroying speed sword close black lens bracket, three swordsman style ghost slash. Phew, there was no sound of steel clashing with the swords. The three knives easily passed through Mr. One's abdomen that turned into steel, and blood spurted out instantly. There may be some cracks around the incision, sorry, my grasp is not perfect yet. Zoro put away his weapon as Mr. One rolled his eyes and fell to the ground. I'll give you a perfect incision next time, if you survive. In this battle, Zoro successfully awakened his weapon color. The battle between Sanji and Mr. Two continues. But Sanji has the upper hand here. Mr. Two tried to conjure the faces of Luffy and others to make Sanji unable to bear to do anything. As a result, Sanji kicked Luffy in the face mercilessly, and when he transformed into Zoro, he kicked even harder. But soon Mr. Two found Sanji's weakness, which was Nami. When he becomes Nami, Sanji will become a nymphomaniac on the sidelines. Mr. Two pretended to take off his clothes, but Sanji immediately raised his eyes and wanted to do it for him. As a result, Mr. Two hit his eyes hard. The erotic eye was beaten, without the entanglement step, it's really easier. Because clone clone fruit will imitate the system, when Mr. Two turns into Nami, he will not be able to carry out a strong attack. Taking this as a breakthrough point, Mr. Two's beauty temptation fails. But this does not mean that his fighting ability is weakened, but rather strengthened. In this battle, Sanji awakens his weapon color. The two started ahead on attack again, but it was obviously unfair because Mr. Two was still armed. At this time, his feet were covered in armed colors. After several hard encounters, Sanji's shoes cracked and he became barefoot. With the blessing of armed color, Sanji kicked Mr. Two's swan neck to pieces. Open black lens bracket cheat meat shoot close black lens bracket there is not much difference in height between the two, but Mr. Two's attack distance is farther, and Sanji inevitably gets a hole in his shoulder. The scream was the original voice of Mr. Two, before he could change his face. Sanji kicked him in the side of the face. If he wants to cause effective harm to himself, Mr. Two must change back to his original face. After suffering several losses, Sanji also found a way to deal with this move. Mr. Two flew backwards and made no sound after passing through two buildings. The two swan necks on the back are not only decorative, but can also be used as weapons on the feet. The swan's mouth on the front is made of steel. Ah! Seeing that Mr. Two was about to change his attitude again, Sanji simply closed his eyes and kicked Mr. Two in the face. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 138 I will be sad even if you die, bastard. After finishing dealing with their respective opponents, the three of them returned to Kusha's location to gather. The flames have gone out, and the heavy rain has stopped long ago. It only extinguishes the flames, and there is no need for so much rain. Shadow Clone put away the stone plate and headed towards the center of the town, looking for the three Zoro figures. Found it. At this time, Usopp was busy explaining something to Kosha, and Shadow Clone was preparing to land when two memory shocks suddenly came. The Shadow Clone using, Super Heavy Rock Technique, and the number 4 Shadow Clone defeated by Smoker. Due to unstable control, Shadow Clone fell directly, hitting Zoro, and then dissipated with a bang. Ah! Who? The rebels have arrived, and under Kosa's instructions, they temporarily lowered their guard against Zoro and the others. But after hearing Zoro's screams and the inexplicable smoke, he couldn't help but raise his weapon in defense. That's the spiky-headed Shadow Clone, Sanji said worriedly. Usopp, contact the guy with the hedgehog head quickly. Zoro stared blankly at the stone plate on his chest and frowned. I hope this hedgehog is not in danger and just wants to hit himself with Shadow Clone. Bulu Bulu, click, the call was successfully connected, and then several people explained the situation to each other, and the three of them were relieved. After hanging up the phone, Usopp dialed again, and it was still Shin's number. Shin's phone bug was assigned to Vivi, and the one Usopp dialed just now was Luffy's phone bug. As the phone was connected, Kosha and Vivi quickly contacted each other. The two hadn't communicated with each other for a long time. They first exchanged pleasantries that made Sanji envious and jealous, and then got down to business. Vivi's logic is much clearer than Usopp's, and she also gave examples of the intelligence and evidence she had found before. The rebels quickly understood the truth of the matter, and at the same time, they also knew what they should do. First, eliminate the traitors. There are employees of Baroque works in the king's army, so naturally the rebel army will not be spared. Then, the entire rebel army marched towards the rainlands and launched a general attack on Crocodile. Although Usopp kept persuading from the side, Crocodile has been left to his own captain and ninja to deal with it. 
But Kosha always wanted to do something for this country, even if it was to atone for his sins, he had to take action. If the Sand Crocodile is not defeated, let him defeat it. If the Sand Crocodile is defeated, the rebels will immediately turn to the palace to surrender, and he will also apologize to the king in person. At the same time, the king's army followed the same policy. The king's army led by Yaka was rushing to the rainland. Their worries were justified, because at this time, Luffy had been knocked to the ground. Luffy. Luffy. In the desert outside the rainland, only Luffy's straw hat and bloodline were left on the ground, and Luffy was nowhere to be seen. Perceptual ninja technique Ming. After investigation, Luffy was finally discovered underground not far away. When Shin dug him out, Luffy was on the verge of suffocation and his respiratory tract was filled with sand. Fortunately, his mouth was still gasping for air. There was a penetrating wound on the chest and many small wounds on the body. The clean water washed away the grit on Luffy's body, and a green light appeared on his palms, healing the small wounds. Not far away, there was a man wearing a white robe and an Arab headscarf who was also unconscious. It is somewhat similar to the big bird that intercepted crocodile that I observed earlier. He separated a shadow clone to deal with the hooded man lying aside. The turbaned man's body was dry, as if he had lost all moisture. Shadow clone didn't think of how to deal with it for a moment. I could only randomly use chakra to make some water and send it to the man in the turban. I didn't expect it to be effective. Like the dry earth longing for rain and dew, the mummy-like body of the man in the turban gradually became plump under the moisture of the water. His own consciousness also soon woke up, and he saw the hedgehog head in front of him at first glance. You. Dot you are? What's going on here? Where's crocodile? I'm sorry, it's all my fault. As the man in the headscarf told the story with tears in his eyes, Shin understood what had happened. He is the adjutant of King Alabasta's army and the strongest warrior in the kingdom known as Bell of the Falcon. Possessing one of the five world-recognized flying abilities, Zone is in the form of a falcon. He came here first to gather information, but unexpectedly saw Sand Crocodile carrying Robin on his back and preparing to leave the city. Without any time to think, he stepped forward and started fighting with Crocodile, it didn't take long for Luffy to arrive. After the two sides learned each other's identities, they began to fight side by side. Luffy was the main attacker and Bell was responsible for the assistance. It's more of a burden than an aid. Luffy and Crocodile are in a deadlock, and Luffy has to think hard to block the attack on Bell. Bell also realized his position and decisively began to retreat, but unexpectedly Crocodile targeted him and launched a fierce attack. Due to his carelessness, Bell was knocked to the ground, and Luffy's chest was penetrated by a hook, sinking deep into the quicksand. Bell, who fell to the ground, did not lose consciousness, and could see a pair of hands suddenly appearing on the edge of the quicksand to rescue Luffy. Crocodile, who had already left, turned back again, and Robin who was following him also had a slap mark on his face. Moreover, Shinning observed that the penetrating injury on the chest was slowly healing on its own, and it would not take long to heal without self-treatment. Um. Luffy will definitely need to replenish energy after waking up. The money he won from Shadow Clone number 4 was placed under a palm tree, so it can be used just right. No, I will beat him away with my own hands, is it worth it to just be a stranger you just met? Bell, who had absorbed the water, was fine except for being a little weak. The letter entrusted him to return to town to buy meat. Hey, how about leaving the sand crocodile to me? After hearing what happened, Shin didn't mean to blame Bell, after all, he came to help with good intentions. Besides, I believe you will come to save me, don't you? The seriously injured Luffy attacked again, but despite his poor condition, he was no match for Crocodile and was buried in the sand. If, he dies, Bibi, will be sad. Have you ever considered that I would be sad if you died, asshole? He, I won't die. To be on the safe side, Crocodile also used his right hand to suck Bell into a dick. At this time, Luffy finally woke up leisurely, but he was still a little weak. After Bell left, the minor wounds on Luffy's body were healed, but he did not dare to treat the penetrating wound on his chest. He was afraid that he would connect the wrong blood vessel and cause problems again. I'll follow you and help you clear the battlefield. He turned around and slapped Robin again, warning her not to make any small moves again, and then left with Robin in his arms. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 139 The Next Action Plan in the Fourth Dungeon Hall The current time is around 12 o'clock at noon, and it takes about 18 hours to get from Rainland to Albana. There are still two situations, Shin frowned, thinking about how to catch up with Crocodile. If the Sand Crocodile moves forward at full speed, the time will definitely be shortened, but his physical fitness will be greatly reduced when he reaches the place. If the Sand Crocodile is looking for a mount, the Super Light Heavy Rock technique can still catch up, but when it gets there I will be useless. If you use the Spiritualization technique to possess others to fight. Looking at the idiot captain sitting cross-legged and waiting for the meal, Shin shook his head. How could this idiot walk across the desert and find the exact place on his own? The optimal solution is that I use the spiritualization technique to go to the palace and possess myself to fight to stop the sand crocodile. Bell, who can fly, takes Luffy to the palace. After confirming the plan, Shin took out the phone bug. Bulu Bulu, click, Moses Moses, this is Dr. Chopper. 
Exactly, Chopper, I'll lend you your body later. Huh? If you don't say this, are Nami and the others still with you? Yes, yes, Nami, Vivi, I've got a letter and a phone call. Did you defeat Crocodile? Great, I can collect the money? No, tell the king that Crocodile is heading towards the palace. If nothing else happens, he will capture the king and forcefully interrogate Pluton's whereabouts, please be careful. Luffy will set off on Bell later, and I will use the spiritualization technique to get to you first. The spiritualization technique allows me to possess Chopper and use ninjutsu to stop the sand crocodile. Hey, can I use ninjutsu too, so cool, can the king's army be contacted? Let them withdraw as well to have more defensive strength. The king's army can naturally contact them, and even senior agents of underground groups such as Baroque Works can be assigned phone bugs. As the adjutant of the king's army, Gaka naturally has it too. They set out at about 6 o'clock, and now they have 6 hours to go out, which is enough time for them to return to the palace. Then, Shin called Usopp nonstop, saying that they should be with the rebels. Knowing that they were coming here, the letter told them to go directly to Albana. To be fair, this group of rebels is fine no matter what, they won't be able to catch up with the final battle, but they probably won't be willing to wait if they are asked. By the time they arrived, the matter was almost over, and they could just follow the king's orders and rebuild the kingdom. Shin, I'm so hungry. Okay, okay, Bell should be back soon. Even though he had to calm down the greedy captain, the thoughts in his eyes did not dissipate, there was still one last group of people. Marine. How will they act? When I transformed into technique, my physical body was in an undefended state. Although the chance is very small, if Dole and Smoker use their knowledge to search. Tisk, trouble, why don't you leave me some barrier magic bastard? Shin couldn't help but curse secretly, he must have known the sealing and enchantment techniques before. Such a convenient thing, but now I can undo the seal, and it is still a small seal on both arms. Regarding Marine's question, someone quickly came back with the answer. Bell transformed into a falcon and flew over, carrying an oversized package, it looked like Shadow Clone had won a lot of money. At the same time, Bell also brought a message, you said Smoker left? Yes. Bell nodded and said, first met Marine in the town. The white-haired Marine was about to force his way through the rain feast. Maybe he heard the shouts of the surrounding people, he recognized my identity and asked me about Crocodile. I thought that if first didn't expect Marine to take action against Shichibukai, at least I wouldn't let them get in the way or help others, so I told them the news. Then what? Then the white-haired man left angrily, and the command of the scene was handed over to a little girl wearing glasses. By the way, there was a female marine covered in bandages who asked about you. But she's asking about the evil hedgehog-headed, damn red-eyed brat, it should be you, right? Bell looked at the red eyes of the hedgehog head with some uncertainty. Ask me what? Asking for your location, but I didn't tell you. She also asked me to bring a sentence, what? She said she was wrong this time, your current character is indeed a hero who saves the country. But a pirate is a pirate. She will still attack you next time she meets you at sea. Not as stubborn as I thought. He stuffed a water balloon into the mouth of Luffy who was choking next to him, and a smile appeared on Shin's face. Although he didn't say it explicitly, Dole also expressed implicitly that he would not attack him again in Alabasta. If he really wanted to fight, he would wait until he went to sea. The last hidden danger disappeared, Shin only needed to be careful not to be attacked by wild beasts. Of course, you can also return to the city and find a house to live in but there are still many members of the Baroque working group in the rainland, so accidents may happen. During the meal, Shin also told Bell his plan, he would need to fly continuously for the next journey. Bell accepted the task without hesitation and said that he could barely fly two people together. However, Shin declined the invitation. Now it was a race against time, and if he kept up, he would eventually have to slow down. Then you have to hold Luffy down and put a bandage on him to prevent excessive bleeding. Shin also took a closer look and found that the wound was indeed smaller. Normally Zone doesn't have this kind of recovery ability, does he? Chopper will probably cry when he sees it. Ah, I'm full. Luffy patted his round belly with a satisfied smile on his face. Wait for me, Crocodile, you're running in the wrong direction. The captain raised his hands and roared as he rushed towards the location of Yudi. His eyes pointed to Bell who was standing aside. He nodded clearly, transformed into a falcon form, grabbed Luffy and rushed towards Albana's position. Next, Shadow Clone Technique. Boom. A shadow clone appeared next to him, and he wanted to test whether the shadow clone could survive when using the spiritualization technique. Spiritualization technique. The spirit body floats out of the physical body, and Shin can sense the location of his partners and quickly reach their location. Boom. The newly separated shadow clone dissipated, and the spirit body received an imperceptible impact. Isn't that true? Otherwise, Kato Dan wouldn't have to ask his teammates to take care of his physical body. The experiment failed. The spiritualization technique and the shadow clone technique cannot coexist. After finding a pile of stones, Shin once again separated out a shadow clone. Next, he had to concentrate on recovering his chakra, not just his chakra, but also his spirit. After receiving the impact of several shadow clone in a day, fatigue was inevitable. 
There is no time to sleep now, so when restoring chakra, consider it a rest. He now needs an absolutely safe place to avoid being disturbed by the outside world. Therefore, Shadow Clone slapped the ground with both hands and aimed at the main body. Earth style barrier down prison hall. A semicircular clod of soil covers the main body, and a layer of clods is thoughtfully placed on the ground to avoid being disturbed by wild beasts that can burrow into the ground. I built the tomb three times in total, but I didn't expect that I would live in it on the fourth time. Adds by Bid Gear Chapter 140 From a Blood Perspective, You Should Call Me Father. Approximately 12 hours passed and Shin's chakra restoration was completed. Open black lens bracket lingua technique close black lens bracket the transparent spirit appeared again, sensed the location of Nami and others, and flew over quickly. It has to be said that the speed of the spirit body is very fast, even if you use the ultralight heavy rock technique to travel at full speed, it is probably not one-tenth of the current speed. It didn't take long for the spirit letter to arrive at the palace. Who is it? At this time, everyone gathered in the palace, except Nami, the king, Yaka, and many soldiers were here. Seeing the spirit letter coming through the wall, the soldiers nervously raised their weapons, thinking that he was Crocodile's men. Drop your weapons, he is not the enemy. Yaka, who had fought alongside Shadow Clone before, knew what Nobunaga looked like, and waved his hand to signal the soldiers not to be nervous. Ninja Dono. Letter. Before Yaka could come up to say hello, Chopper walked through the crowd and jumped up, ready to hug Shin. But it turned out to be in vain. Chopper had never seen Shin's spiritual state, so naturally he didn't know that this state couldn't be touched. Huh? Exactly. Let me in. Ignoring the confusion on Chopper's face, the spirit letter rushed directly into Chopper's body. Um? Shin felt something was wrong as if something was preventing him from entering Chopper's spiritual world. The spirit letter was driven out and appeared in the hall again. Chopper, you can't be a ninja anymore. Hey, why, I really want to release ninjutsu too. I don't know yet, I'll find out later. Chopper's face showed disappointment. Okay. Yaka-san, don't resist. Good. The spirit letter got into Yaka's body again, and reappeared in everyone's sight after a while. What are you doing? Now is not the time to play. Nami stepped forward and asked. I'm not playing, I can't get in. Spirit Shin spread his hands, his tone full of helplessness. Maybe it's because Chopper and Yaka are both espers. Wait, don't move. With a whoosh, the spiritual letter penetrated into Nami's body. The ninjutsu is effective, and it can control people. Wind-style great breakthrough. Nami blew out a strong wind from his mouth, causing Chopper's eyes to shine. Nami can also use ninjutsu, I'm so envious. Nami, look thoughtful. Possession is no problem, and releasing ninjutsu is no problem. It seems that it is indeed the devil fruit. Then the spirit letter broke away from Nami's body and entered Vivi's body. With the same effect, the ability of spiritualization technique is activated normally. It is also possible to get into the bodies of soldiers. Only Chopper and Yaka, the two zone power users, cannot possess them. Although he wanted to find out whether this would happen to other types of Esper users, there were only two Esper users in the palace, Chopper and Yaka, so Spirit Shin had no choice but to give up. In the end, the spirit letter decided to possess Cobra, although it was not as strong as Chopper's body. The Sand Crocodile's target was Cobra, so it could directly meet the enemy. Vivi's expression was very intriguing, and she didn't know what to call Cobra in front of her. In terms of blood, you should call me father, Vivi was speechless. The letter did not occupy Cobra's body all the time, it was still early now, so he gave the control of the body back to Cobra. He hid in Cobra's spiritual world to rest, in the desert, on a turtle car. Crocodile's face was gloomy and he almost crushed the phone bug in his hand. None of the senior agents he sent out could be contacted, and even the spies lurking in the king's army and the rebel army had no news. The, Utopia, plan completely failed. Why are they so aware of Utopia's plan? Crocodile suppressed his anger and asked the person opposite. Nico Robin. Who knows? The slap marks on her face have faded, and Robin has returned to the state of a mature lady, she chuckles and says. Maybe that ninja can predict the future, do you think I won't kill you? Crocodile suddenly stretched out his right hand and strangled Robin's neck. A feeling of suffocation came, but Robin still maintained a calm expression. Let's take action and destroy the, Utopia, you have been planning for many years with your own hands. The force on his right hand continued to increase until Robin was about to faint, Crocodile let go of Robin with a cold snort. You'd better stop playing tricks, after all, he still couldn't bear to kill Robin, if he wanted to find Pluton, he needed Robin, a tool that could interpret historical texts. Wait until the historical text is deciphered and Pluton's whereabouts are found before killing this ignorant woman. The lights were brightly lit in the rain tonight, and gunshots could be heard from time to time. Action. Two people escaped on 3rd Street and need support. Attention civilians. Don't accidentally hurt, the rope I brought is not enough. No one with this tattoo can be spared. The shouts came like a wave, causing ordinary citizens to stay at home and lock their doors. The entrance to the formerly bustling rain banquet was blocked by Marines. Guests could evacuate, but none of the staff could leave. What do you want to do Marine? The master here is Shichibukai, Crocodile-sama. 
There was still one hour left before the estimated arrival time of the sand crocodile. Is this really good? The world government will hold you accountable, right? After all, Shichibukai is still our ally. What? You said this is Shichibukai's organization, I don't know. A manager couldn't help but rushed out and shouted, while the marine soldiers on the opposite side were like a circle of stubborn stones, motionless. The sun had risen and it was five o'clock. Dole, who was recovering from her injuries, had not fallen asleep yet, and the environment at this time obviously prevented her from sleeping. Smoker left for unknown reasons, Dole was injured, and the command was handed over to Dashigi. However, Dole has no intention of grabbing power, because what Dashigi is doing now is also what she wants to do. Logically speaking, although Dole was injured, she was still conscious, so the command should be given to her. Inside the marine camp. How much longer, Big Bird? After hearing this answer, Dole quickly reacted and the corner of his mouth couldn't help but curl up. That's so smart. Likewise, it was naturally impossible for Marine to know that afterward, the headquarters would at most blame them for disturbing the public. Except for the senior agent and Robin, no one in Baroque Company, Limited knew that the boss behind it was Crocodile. Toshigi coordinates the overall situation and constantly issues orders to hunt down and arrest members of the Baroque Working Society in this town. It'll probably take another hour and a half. No, what we are arresting is the Baroque Company, Limited who intends to rebel. What does it have to do with Shichibukai? Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 141 Cobra vs. Crocodile in the blink of an eye, the time has come to 6 o'clock in the morning. Albana, inside the royal palace. The soldiers responsible for guarding have been replaced to ensure that they have enough energy to guard against the enemy. There is no one to change shifts with Yaka. Fortunately, as a user of Zone's fruit ability, he is still full of energy. On the throne is Cobra sitting upright, but looking at the expression on his face, you can tell that the current Cobra is a ninja. According to Shin's estimation, the sand crocodile has now arrived at the palace. So Shin took over Cobra's body again. You can't be scared after seeing so many people here, right? Fear. Outside the palace, Crocodile turned to look at Robin as if he had heard some joke. I wouldn't be afraid if their strength doubled again. Just now he was just checking the number and location of the enemies with his sense of sight, but this woman actually said that he didn't go in because he was afraid? It's really ridiculous. No matter how many opponents there are, they can't stop him in the slightest. He raised his right hand, and a small tornado formed in his palm. Throwing it in the direction of the palace, the tornado rose up in the wind, and in an instant it turned into a giant sandstorm that swept through the palace. Stop playing tricks and come with me, coming. Cobra opened his eyes on the throne. Although he could not use Sharingan, anyone who was not blind could sense the sandstorm outside. Nami, rain. Yeah, Nami took out the weather stick. During this time, she studied it carefully and mastered the correct use of the weather stick. As the cold bubbles continued to be released, it started to rain lightly in the palace. Chopper has also transformed into a strong man form ready to fight with the blue wave ball at any time. Vivi took out her weapon, Yaka transformed, and everyone looked at the palace entrance in anticipation. At the open door, two figures walked slowly, before anyone arrived, an arrogant voice arrived first. What a grand welcome ceremony. Crocodile. Yaka roared angrily, transformed into a human animal form and rushed over, wielding his special hammer and smashed Crocodile's head. Don't be so anxious, beast. Crocodile doesn't look good. He almost got hit for real. There's rainwater attached to the weapon, who told them. If he hadn't sensed the danger in advance, this would not have been a pleasant experience. He kicked Yaka away casually, and it wasn't until he reached the door that he realized that it was raining lightly. Damn straw hat crew. Crocodile glanced at Nami who was constantly releasing cold bubbles, and the anger in his eyes became even stronger. Instead of walking into the palace, he pressed his right hand on the ground, preparing to turn the ground here into sand. Open black lens bracket erosion cycle close black lens bracket the earth gradually loses moisture, becomes dry and cracked, and then turns to gravel. Centered on Crocodile, the desert is encroaching into the palace. There is no need for the guarding soldiers to take action, and their attacks will have no effect. With the help of the rain falling from Nami, Cobra formed a seal with his hands. Water style water dragon bomb technique, the thick water dragon emerged from the black clouds, roared silently, and rushed towards Crocodile. Corrosion cycle, was forced to interrupt. Crocodile raised his right hand to absorb the water dragon, with uncontrollable surprise in his eyes. Ninjutsu? Cobra? Cobra is a ninja? The perception of sight and color is unmistakable. The cobra in front of him is the real thing, not the transformation technique of that ninja brat. But how? According to my own information, cobra is just an ordinary middle aged man. Seeing the surprised look on the sand crocodile's face, cobra couldn't help but curl up the corner of his mouth. Then he waved his hand and ordered, The entire army is on alert. Do not leave the palace. Use blunt weapons. Blunt weapons stained with rain can attack crocodile. This is Shin's plan. The plan he came up with after learning that Nami's weather stick can make rainwater. It is impossible to exert full combat effectiveness in the possessed state. Now he is huddled in the palace. If the sand crocodile wants to enter, he will face himself and the soldiers who can attack him. 
If sand crocodile attacks from a distance, you can also use ninjutsu to wash away the attack. Just delay it until Luffy arrives, go up and kidnap Robin yourself, and let Luffy fight without any worries. Crocodile looked Cobra up and down, condensed the sand into a blade shape, and launched it towards the throne. Water style water dragon bomb technique, the water dragon reappeared, opened its mouth to swallow the sand, and attacked the sand crocodile with unabated momentum. Crocodile absorbed the water dragon as usual, already having the answer in his mind. Are you Uchiha Nobu? No, I am Vivi's father. Vivi. The sand crocodile looked at the guarding king's army in the palace quietly, snorted coldly, then turned around and left. This time it was Shin's turn to look ugly, he guessed what crocodile was going to do next. It's nothing more than threatening the lives of the king's troops, and killing the king's troops as long as Cobra doesn't come out. Really, I originally thought this operation would be easier. Well, let's give it a try. Open black lens bracket lingua technique close black lens bracket. A transparent spirit floated out of Cobra's body, and the original Cobra instantly took over his body. Everyone in the palace was told not to go out and the rain should not stop. The spirit letter floated out and headed straight towards the sand crocodile. Not to grab sand crocodile's body, but to grab Robin's. When the time comes, use Robin's body to fight, and wait for Luffy to come and leave immediately to save trouble. Before the two sand crocodiles could get far, the spirit body Shin got into the ground, looked at Robin's position and sprinted forward. Is this here? The spirit letter broke out of the ground and penetrated into Robin's body from bottom to top. Um, Robin, on the other hand, froze in place and had been living in exile alone for twenty years. Everyone was telling her to die and leave. Don't resist, Robin smiled, we are allies now, and... Shin thought Robin was afraid of being killed by a sand crocodile, so he comforted him. The sand crocodile frowned. Is it an illusion? What did that flash pass just now? I won't let you die. This was the first time she had entered the spiritual space, and she was full of curiosity about everything around her. In the mental space, Robin looked up and down around him. The space was full of light. There was no foothold but he could feel obvious support under his feet. It would actually not be bad if I could die painlessly like this. The most curious thing is naturally the hedgehog head in front of me. Aren't you scared? Uncle Cobra was shocked. Even the sand crocodile didn't want her to really live, but just used her as a tool. It's really pessimistic. Let's have some confidence in our alliance. You won't let me die. It's as if her existence in the world will bring bad luck. Is this also the ability of a ninja? What a magical profession. Shin's casual answer echoed in her mind, and she couldn't help but laugh and said softly. Then he disappeared into the spiritual space and took over the control of the body. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 142 Robin V's Crocodile This possession is just an attempt, if it doesn't go smoothly, Shin will choose to return to the palace and find a random soldier to possess him. He wasn't sure whether he could possess someone with abilities, but now he was sure. Paramisha's Esper can possess him, but Zone like Chopper can't. There is no time to worry about why Zone is so special, the Sand Crocodile is probably impatient to wait. Seeing that Robin beside him remained silent for a long time, Crocodile thought that Robin was up to something again. What a troublesome woman. Just kill her as soon as the matter is over. He looked impatient and reached out to grab Robin's neck, preparing to force Robin to move. Robin remained silent and offered no resistance, with an intriguing smile on his lips. Nico Robin, don't challenge my patience. Open black lens bracket TN cry close black lens bracket. A needle like water jet shoots out and goes straight to Crocodile's forehead. This time, it passed directly through Crocodile's head. Misjudgment. Rain that is too fine will lose its restraining effect. Taking note of this information, before the sand crocodile could react, he quickly formed seals with his hands. Open black lens bracket water style water prison technique close black lens bracket crocodile finally realized something was wrong, let go of Robin's neck, and stretched out his right hand to absorb the moisture condensed on Robin's fingertips. At the same time, the hook of his left hand was about to stab Robin's abdomen, but in the end he held back and gathered his strength. If he kills Robin now, his plan will be completely ruined. Robin jumped back to distance himself, and at the same time threw off the white coat he had been wearing, which was too much in the way. Uchiha letter. No, I'm Robin. Open black lens bracket water style water dragon bomb technique close black lens bracket. Do you think I'm an idiot? Damn Uchiha. Crocodile raised his right hand to absorb the water dragon, looking crazy. This hateful guy is everywhere, why is he still there? Why, why did you come to stop yourself? It was obvious that the two of them had never met before. What is your purpose? What is the purpose of pestering me so hauntingly? He yelled at Robin at the top of his lungs. You're obviously just a group of passing pirates, do you still want to be a hero? He had been able to keep his composure during the previous accidents, but now that Robin was controlled, his mind was completely messed up. Since he can control Robin at any time, he can naturally kill Robin at any time. As long as Robin dies, his plan will be a complete failure. It's better to wait for our captain to tell you this question. That straw hat idiot? He has been killed by me. My captain will not be defeated by a third-rate character like you. 
Open black lens bracket fire style great fireball technique close black lens bracket open black lens bracket desert sword close black lens bracket. A huge fireball shot out of Robin's mouth, and was cut open by the desert sword in the blink of an eye. It's just for delaying time, it's enough. Robin turned around and left, as if he had made up his mind and never looked at the sand crocodile again. As the letter guessed, Crocodile's eyes flickered between the palace and Robin. In the end, he gritted his teeth and chose to chase Robin. He didn't dare to bet that Cobra could still find an opportunity to catch him again, if Robin was lost, he would really be lost. Without the tools to translate historical text, he might not be able to find Pluton even if he searched all over the world. The two of them were running fast, the former used the super light heavy rock technique to fly up, and the latter used elements to chase after him. Until leaving Albana, Robin lowered his height and fell into the desert. The distance is sufficient so that, although the environment is favorable for sand crocodiles, it does not affect the residents of Albana. Before fighting, set up a buff first. Open black lens bracket earth style earth spear close black lens bracket. With the circulation of chakra, Robin's skin color, which was not white at first, completely turned into black. So ugly. Robin in the spiritual world couldn't help complaining. She could see what Shin saw, but she just didn't have the control. Say your terms and return this woman to me. The sand crocodile followed closely behind without making any move, choosing to negotiate with a gloomy expression. Three devil fruit, I want Logias, Robin said casually, thinking about how to deal with the sand crocodile. Other ninjutsu have no effect on Logia, and water style is particularly expensive in the desert. Shadow clone cannot coexist with the spiritualization technique, and cannot release the rain tiger freedom technique to change the battlefield environment. Piercing ninjutsu will be avoided by elementalization and cannot be used in close combat. At the same time, there is a high probability that the ground environment will be controlled by the opponent. Therefore, the optimal solution is to engage in air combat. However, in the possessed state, it is impossible to release the two ninjutsu while maintaining the two ninjutsu. If you fly into the air and fight, you have to give up the earth spear technique. The asking price is too expensive. Things like Logia are hard to come by. The most you can get is an ordinary devil fruit. Okay, okay, wait for me to think about it. Robin continued perfunctorily, turning most of his attention back to his mental space. A slightly transparent letter appeared in front of Robin's eyes. Before she could ask, the spirit letter said quickly. Your ability can transform arms, right? Um, although it may not be successful, we will fight side by side next. What do you want me to do? A pair of arms will be transformed into our bodies, and we will only take over the control of these arms and form these seals. Wei, Noon, Chen, Garrison, remember? Keep the garrison seal still for the last time and leave the rest to me. Although he didn't know what happened, Robin still wrote down these seals. Now, you go out and separate your hands. Then, relax and I will take over your body. The spirit letter spoke very fast, and Robin nodded reluctantly. Yoshi, from now on you are no longer miss, all Sundays. But my partner in the Straw Hat Pirates, Nico Robin. Let's go. Seeing the spirit letter speaking such a long paragraph in a very serious manner, Robin was a little touched by the recognition but also felt embarrassed. It was a bit off the mark. Open black lens bracket two rounds of flowers blooming close black lens bracket. Huh? Sand Crocodile noticed that something was wrong. Shin didn't give up control of his body before, and was still answering questions here and there. But in an instant, Robin's temperament changed, she turned back into the mature lady, and she raised her hand to use her ability. Before he could seize the opportunity to attack, Robin's temperament changed again, turning into that inconspicuous ninja. Sorry, I was possessed by a ghost just now, let's continue. A ninjutsu improved from water prison jutsu, which releases hollow water balls for defense without blind spots. Ping raised his right hand with a gloomy expression. The sand crocodile's lower body became elemental and threw out a blade-shaped gravel to split the water ball. The wind brought by the sandstorm blew the water ball, but it never broke through the water ball's defense. The two extra hands are on the back, forming seals to maintain the earth spear technique. Robin moved his neck and used the super light heavy rock technique again to fly up. Although it was Robin who was fighting him, Crocodile knew who was behind it. The two launched a long-range attack exchange in the air. Although Robin was slightly at a disadvantage, the Sand Crocodile had to be careful not to inflict fatal injuries on Robin at all times, and there was a stalemate for a while. It's really unreasonable Logia, any attack can have such a wide range. Open black lens bracket Shalon close black lens bracket a huge air cannon blasted Crocodile's body apart, and he realized that he had been tricked. Damn Uchiha. Open black lens bracket wind style vacuum jade close black lens bracket Robin complained silently. Robin retreated in time and released wind style again to block. Open black lens bracket water style water empty room close black lens bracket therefore, from time to time, a resentful shout will be heard in the sky. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 143 The War Ends, Luffy's Victory. Open black lens bracket heavy shalon close black lens bracket a sandstorm that was more severe than before hit, and crocodile walked in a storm and cut the water ball. 
Robin inside was finally missing a move and had no choice but to give up the water ball and break away downwards. Back above the ground is Sand Crocodile's home court. Even with Earth style ninjutsu, Robin will not be Sand Sandfruit's opponent. However, the time is almost up. Robin smiled, not paying attention to Crocodile who was raising a hook in front of her to attack. She saw the figure wearing a straw hat on a big bird. Uchiha. The Sand Crocodile looked crazy, and the hook of his left hand was about to hit Robin's abdomen. Boom. A foot wearing slippers fell from the sky and stepped on the hook into the desert, forcing the sand crocodile to bend down. He could only look up at this new enemy, Straw Hat Luffy who was supposed to be killed by him. It's too late, Captain. Robin said with a chuckle, his body relaxed, and the earth spear that had been maintained was lifted at this moment, and his skin color returned to wheat. Huh? Luffy looked confused. Who are you? I'm Shin. With a bang, Robin turned into Shin. That's amazing, it turns out you are a ninja too. I told you that I am. Shin explained helplessly, but suddenly felt something was wrong. Have you awakened to see sex? Hmm, I don't know. Luffy gave this answer after thinking briefly. However, Shin looks nothing like you. How long will you two continue to talk? The two of them were chatting here as if no one was watching, and Sand Crocodile, who was keeping a distance and on guard, felt that he was insulted. What do you mean, you don't regard me as an enemy, do you? I am a dignified Shichibukai, standing here and you chatting there. Open black lens bracket desert sword close black lens bracket a dark purple crack opened in the ground, forcing the two of them apart. Open black lens bracket desert sunflower close black lens bracket the desert beneath Luffy's feet turned into quicksand, threatening to sink him into the ground again. Luffy, who had suffered a loss, ran hard and quickly ran out of the quicksand, even the slippers under his feet were intact. The sand crocodile's lower body became elemental and rushed towards Luffy, who had just escaped from trouble. Taking off the protective sheath on the hook on his left hand, the hole for injecting venom was revealed. You need to be careful when dealing with Robin. This bastard straw hat should die as soon as possible. Rubber rubber. Pistol. Boom. The fists and hooks wrapped in armed colors collided with each other, making a thunderous sound. There was a hint of unwillingness in Sand Crocodile's eyes, but he finally took the first step to avoid the attack. Armed color. Why would he be armed? I haven't figured it out after so many years since my debut, so why can he, a newcomer, just master it at will? Compared with the previous battle, he was even more mature. Crocodile is not armed, but most of his attacks cause fragmentation damage, which is enough to deal with Luffy. After exchanging moves, the two began to fight again, with Crocodile choosing to face the enemy from a distance. Stretching always takes some time, and this time is the buffer Crocodile leaves for itself. He used all his strength to sense where Luffy's next punch would hit him, and elementalized in advance to dodge the attack. The Sand Crocodile's attacks are always avoided by Luffy one step ahead, except for the small wounds caused by Sha Lan's large-scale attacks, there are no injuries on his body. The battle is at a stalemate, and Luffy is not happy with the situation. Find a way to engage in close combat. Suck it. Luffy opened his mouth and inhaled sharply, storing a large amount of gas in his abdomen. The sand crocodile took this opportunity to throw out the desert sword and hit his left shoulder, causing blood to spurt out. Ignoring the pain, Luffy turned his back to the sand crocodile, and gas from his abdomen spurted out of his mouth. Open black lens bracket rubber rubber wind style great breakthrough close black lens bracket like nitrogen accelerating. Luffy flew upside down and rushed towards Crocodile, using all his strength to avoid the incoming attack. The Sand Crocodile sensed something was wrong and wanted to escape as an element, but a fist covered in armed color suddenly grasped his shoulder. Caught you. Open black lens bracket rubber rubber, bell close black lens bracket the head stretched back, the forehead was covered with armor, and it hit the Sand Crocodile's head. Damn it. Crocodile suddenly felt bad and quickly elementalized his head to avoid the attack. The hook of his left hand attacked Luffy's arm at the same time. Luffy had already sensed the situation, and used his other hand to cover his weapon color and collide with the hook. The two engaged in a close confrontation. Whenever Crocodile tried to distance himself, Luffy tried to stop him even though he was injured. Crocodile's knowledge no longer allows him to avoid all attacks, and he will be punched by Luffy from time to time. Luffy's experience was equally unpleasant. The sand crocodile had a poisonous hook in its left hand, and its right hand was covered with a blade made of gravel. Although he has a sense of knowledge, he will inevitably be attacked, and as long as he is hit, he will inevitably suffer a severing damage. Luffy could only predict the attack path of the hook with all his strength, but it was poisonous. Boom. The blade made of gravel was shattered by Luffy's punch, and the sand crocodile quickly recondensed it. Phew, Luffy was stabbed in the right shoulder and blood overflowed. Pung. The fist hit crocodile's abdomen mercilessly, and he couldn't help but retched, and another punch took the opportunity to hit his chin. This punch directly knocked him away and hit the ground heavily. Luffy was about to step forward to finish off the attack when the resentful voice of Sand Crocodile came. Why? Why are you trying so hard to stop me? What can you get? What do you want? Wealth? This country is not richer than me yet? Power? When I succeed, I can give you the entire country and make you the king. Reputation? 
I can use all my power to package you as a hero who saves the country. Everything in this country adds up to less than what I give, why on earth do you keep stopping me? Vivi's face flashed through Luffy's mind, and he answered the question with a serious expression. To stop being sad for my partner. Partner, Crocodile's eyes were sinister, as if he had heard some joke. For such a ridiculous reason, give back my partner's country. Luffy said no more, his hands were covered in armed colors and stretched out behind him like a snake. Rubber rubber, rocket launcher, I didn't get it at all, bastard straw hat. Sand Crocodile roared crazily, feeling a little aggrieved. He added the final blow with a spinning fist, hitting Crocodile hard in the face. Puff. Luffy's forehead was covered with military color, and his head was broken apart with a hammer. This Shichibukai, which had been planned for many years, didn't even leave a scream. The rage in Luffy's heart hid Crocodile's belly. Fly, Crocodile. Rubber rubber. Machine gun. Crocodile vomited blood and was knocked into the air. Rubber rubber. Roundabout. When Crocodile regained his head, the fist covered in armed colors had already arrived. Luffy closed his fist, jumped up into the air, and faced Crocodile, but his right hand remained in place. Before he could make any move, fists covered in armed colors came like raindrops. Phew. The hook in his left hand pierced Luffy's abdomen first, and blood spurted out. The sand crocodile drew out its hook and raised the desert sword in its right hand to strike at Luffy. In this battle, Luffy awakens to his seen color and further masters his weapon color. Was beaten to the horizon by Luffy. A trace of cold sweat dropped from Luffy's forehead and he frowned. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 144 Alabasta Follow Up 1 The sand crocodile was knocked to the horizon. Luffy fell to the ground exhausted, and the toxins in his body began to take effect. Robin, who had been watching the fight, came over and took out the antidote from his skirt pocket. He bent down and said to Luffy, This shot is the antidote, don't treat me as your enemy. Luffy had a smile on his face and said, You must be a good person. You saved me once in the desert before, thank you. The spirit letter floated over and blamed him, Why are you injured again? It would be easier if we go together. He, the face covered with dust and blood relaxed the moment he saw the letter. Shin, I won, okay, okay, you are awesome. Bell, who came with Luffy on his back, also came over and transformed into a falcon form. The environment here is rough. Luffy San should go back and heal as soon as possible. At this time, Robin had just finished injecting the antidote and hugged Luffy onto Bell's broad back. Nico Robin, do you want to come along? No, I still want to experience the feeling of flying by myself. The giant falcon looked thoughtfully at the spirit letter and the smiling Robin, nodded, spread its wings and flew away. The letter had no choice but to get into Robin's body, and the mature lady just now suddenly turned into that incoherent ninja. Open black lens bracket earth style super light heavy rock technique close black lens bracket following the previous trajectory, Robin flew towards the palace. Bell arrived first and informed everyone of Crocodile's defeat. Everyone in the palace relaxed instantly, Nami and Vivi collapsed on the ground. It had been about two days since I last slept, the time in Juba. All members of the Straw Hats are like this. They are too nervous to relax even a little bit. Vivi has been caring about the country for several years. Now, the heavy burden on my head has finally disappeared. Chopper climbed onto the back of the giant falcon with his short legs, observing Luffy's injury nervously. There were countless small wounds on the shoulders, abdomen, and body. Fortunately, the most deadly poison had been removed. And when Robin flew to the palace, the people who had just relaxed suddenly tensed up their nerves. The spirit letter floated out and explained to everyone, and Robin was saved from being besieged. I'll leave the rest to you. Your Highness the King, the sand crocodile was sent to that direction by my captain. And that dachshund, please look for it. After saying this, the spirit body Shin said goodbye to everyone and prepared to return to his own body. Because the rebel army set out from Kalia, it was a long way from Albana, it was still about six hours away from Albana at this time. Zoro and others also followed the rebel army. Shin's shadow clone was no longer there, if they didn't follow the rebel army, they would have walked. The rebels treated them very favorably, and specially vacated a carriage for them to ride in, which was even covered with furs. Bulu Bulu, the ringing of the phone bug reached Usopp's ears through the noisy sound of horse hooves. He was covered in bandages and looked slightly nervous, not sure if it was good news or bad news. Moses Moses, this is Nami, the navigator. Just hearing this voice, Usopp breathed a sigh of relief. This tone was obviously to announce good news. He was about to reply when Sanji on the side snatched the phone away at lightning speed, with a greasy smile on his face. Moses Moses, here is the knight who will always protect you, Chef Sanji. Do you have any instructions, your highness princess? I am Cobra. Ah, who are you, stinky old man? I am Vivi's father, it turns out to be Vivi Chan's father, isn't that my father-in-law? Before Sanji could finish his heaven-defying remarks, Usopp grabbed the phone bug again. The conversation between the two normal people went much smoother. Cobra informed everyone of the defeat of Sand Crocodile and that the Straw Hats did not suffer any sacrifices. Zoro kept looking at the phone bug, 
After hearing the news, the corner of his mouth curled up and he closed his eyes with peace of mind. After a while, a snoring sound came from where he was. Now that my friends are safe, I can sleep peacefully. Then Usopp found Kosha and handed the phone bug to him. When he learned that the sand crocodile was defeated, Kosha burst into tears and solemnly apologized to the king of the phone bugs. Then the rebel army slowed down, and they still went to the palace to accept the king's arrangements. Maybe some people will return to their hometown to live an ordinary life, maybe some people will join the king's army to defend the country. But in short, they are no longer rebels, but citizens of Alabasta. Full speed ahead. The marines left a group of people in the rain to guard and capture members of the Baroque Working Society. Dole was among them, although he was injured, a general level figure was not someone that could be touched. The rest of the marines headed to Albana, led by Dashigi. Because they set off from the rainland, their progress was much faster than that of the rebels. At this time, they could already see the general outline of Albana. At the same time, I also saw an unexpected person. Captain Tashigi, Shichibukai Crocodile was discovered in the desert ahead. Nani, Tashigi was shocked, they were going to deal with Crocodile on this trip. Be alert and prepare to meet the enemy, Chief Sao, Crocodile seems to have fainted. Crocodile was seen lying on the ground with fist marks all over his body and a trace of bloodline left at the corner of his mouth. After confirming that the target had really fainted this time, Tashigi immediately asked his men to take out the spare sea stone handcuffs, and personally stepped forward to tie up the Shichibukai. The information she had collected over the past few days replayed in her mind, and the conclusion she reached was unquestionable. The Straw Hat crew, who are on the pirate side, saved the country. On the surface, Shichibukai is on the same side as the world government, but he is a murderer who wants to subvert the country. At the very least, at least I want to express my belated apology to the king on behalf of Marine. It was noon, but there was no dazzling sunshine as expected, and continuous dark clouds obscured the entire alabasta. Shin, whose spirit body returned, stretched himself, broke through the earthen prison and walked out. Did nothing happen? Some people are in a deserted oasis with not a drop of water around them, while some people are in a port with no shortage of water at all. But when he woke up and was about to take action regardless of the order, the country had already been saved by pirates. She gritted her teeth and the horse beneath her sped up again. But no matter what, seeing the rain that they hadn't seen for many years again, they couldn't help but smile on their faces. The entire army turned back and escorted Crocodile back to the warship. Alabasta's long drought has been met with rain, ending several years of drought and waiting for rain. As a marine, I am a righteous person. As a marine, can I really protect justice better? After giving the order, Tashigi separated from the main force and headed towards Albana alone. Tashigi murmured to himself that because there was no definite evidence, he did not dare to attack Shichibukai who was in the same camp in the early stage. Uncle Dodo from Yuba, Kappa, the kid from Katalia trying to join the rebel army, the uncle who sells golden apples in the rain. It's raining? Adds by Bid Gear Chapter 145 Alabasta Follow-Up 2. At night, the rebels finally arrived at Albana, and the leader of the rebels went to the palace to meet the king. At the same time, he met his long-lost friend Vivi. But they didn't give the two people time to chat, as soon as Kosha entered the palace, he knelt in front of Cobra and said with tears streaming down his face. Please forgive me for my stupid behavior, your highness the king. Get up, this is not your fault. Cobra hurriedly stepped forward to help him up, no one was at fault in this matter. It's Crocodile who's wrong. Now is the time when the country needs help, are you willing to help me? Of course, the rebels, no, the 700,000 militiamen have been waiting for the end of the war to build their homes. Ha ha ha, okay, but let's rest tonight. Yaga, Albana doesn't have that many vacant residences. Send heating supplies to people outside the city. Yes. The king's army sent heating supplies such as quilts and umbrellas to protect the rebels outside the city. It is naturally impossible for Zoro and others to stay here. When Kosha entered the palace earlier, they followed him to the palace, but went directly to the dormitory specially prepared for them. The dormitory was still brightly lit at this time, Luffy had fallen asleep, and Chopper was watching over him. Nami is trying on Vivi's clothes beautifully. As a princess of a country, no matter how simple it is, she will still have several sets of dresses to wear on formal occasions. How about it Chopper, do I look like a princess to you? Like, 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 exactly the same, Chopper didn't reply. The one who made the sound was a yellow-haired kappa. More than just a princess, she is simply an angel, no, she is an angel princess. Okay, okay, don't come near me if you smell like sweat. Nami pushed away the lewd Sanji with disgust, and Robin, who was reading a book on the side, couldn't help but chuckle. That's right, at Vivi's suggestion, Robin was not put under special custody, but was placed in a dormitory with everyone. This chuckle naturally attracted Sanji's attention, and he instantly changed his target. Ah, oh, I am so lucky today to be able to see two princesses at the same time. Sanji bent down with a serious look on his face, and reflexively picked up a cup of black tea from the table next to him and handed it to Robin. Beautiful lady, I wonder if I can know your name. Thank you. Robin took the black tea with a smile on his face, Robin. Robin-san, what a beautiful name. 
Boom. Before Sanji could react, Nami punched him and forced him to shut down. Hoo-hoo-hoo. Sanji who fell to the ground snored instantly and fell asleep on the ground. He was really tired, and with the wounds on his body, his energy was close to its limit. Not just him, but Zoro and Usopp as well. Zoro was self-aware and climbed into a bed and fell asleep as soon as he entered the door. Usopp also wanted to check on Luffy's injury, but ended up lying on Luffy's body. Chopper finally closed his eyes under the urging of several purring sounds. Ah, it's true. Nami sighed, wondering how to move these strong men back to bed. Open black lens bracket six rounds of flowers blooming close black lens bracket the petals fluttered, and Robin activated the fruit power to send Sanji who fell to the ground and Usopp Chopper who was crowded on Luffy's bed to separate beds. Don't think that I will accept you like this, you suspicious woman. Of course, I still have a gem left here, just consider it as a meeting gift for Miss Navigator. Wow, let's sleep in the same bed, big sister, Nami's eyes lit up, her attitude changed instantly, and she rubbed her hands together to take the gem. After taking two steps, he still couldn't control his body and fell into Robin's arms. The sound of subtle breathing came, and Nami also fell asleep. She and Chopper had been worried about Zoro and the other three, and now they were naturally relieved to see that the three of them were safe and sound. Carrying Nami back to the bed, Robin also yawned. Although Shin was controlling it, it was her body that was doing the fighting after all. The door to the room opened, and after talking to Kosha, Vivi returned here, followed by Karu. Naturally, she has her own room in the palace, but she still wants to stay with her friends. The two looked at each other without saying anything, and silently returned to their respective beds. The lights went out and the room fell into silence. Vivi hesitated and asked again, Miss. Miss Robin, why did you help the sand crocodile do those things? She had very complicated feelings about Robin. She said she was grateful, but Robin really did things that hurt Alabasta. Speaking of hatred, Robin revealed all the plans for the utopia, and even Ikarim was still alive. Vivi subjectively feels that Robin is not a bad person, but she does not understand why Robin would help others. After waiting for a long time, there was no reply, it wasn't until Vivi was about to fall asleep that she heard Robin's answer. To study history, it was late at night, and the entire kingdom fell into silence. Of course, there are always people who are still busy. Take Tashigi, for example. At this time, she was galloping towards the marine station. She met the king and expressed her apology, however, the king only accepted her apology in a businesslike manner and dismissed her casually. Even if you scold me, it's okay. Tashigi gritted her silver teeth, and Cobra's attitude made her even more shaken. That nonchalant attitude seemed to have never given Marine hope. There is no hope, and naturally there is no disappointment. In a sense, not having hope is the biggest disappointment for Marine. Cobra never expected Marine, who stood for justice, to save the country. Maybe he also sought Marine's help, but in the end it all ended in vain. Is Marine really the righteous party? But Crocodile's position clearly shows that he is with Marine. Tashiji's mind was confused and he didn't know how to describe his current mood. A Sundower lizard emerged from the desert. As if to vent his anger, Tashigi drew his sword and launched an attack with a roar. Ah, ah, Shadow Clone, who was sitting on another Sundower lizard, yawned. At this time, he was rushing towards the palace to meet up with his friends. He tightened the note in his hand, it was filled with evidence of Sand Crocodile's crime. Princess Vivi must be very anxious right now. Robin returned after Luffy and others left, and commanded the Big Turtle to rescue him. In any case, this country is finally out of the sea of misery. Naturally, it was impossible to fly the entire distance, and Shin didn't have the energy. Then use Sharingan to control the Sundower lizard to Albana. As for the body, at this time, I was sleeping soundly under the umbrella and blanket I bought from the rainy place. Crocodile, as long as I'm around, your plan won't succeed. So, the miserable shadow clone ran out to find a Saintor lizard as a mount. Riding on the moonlight, he said to himself firmly. He used the old method of guarding the ship on the Mary, the shadow clone worked while the main body slept. Vivi doesn't have to look so bloomy anymore. Ikarim had just woken up not long ago and had no time to eat. He drove the boat left by Robin on the coast and headed towards Alabasta under the guidance of the permanent pointer. Originally, on Whiskey Peak, Ikarim sank to the bottom of the ocean after the ship exploded. Being on a desert island, he didn't know anything and thought that the country was in war at this time. Dot dot dot. On the coast a little away from the rapeseed flowers, Ikarim was heading towards Alabasta in a small boat. And sent him to an unknown desert island near Alabasta. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 146 Alabasta Follow Up 3 The time came early the next morning. Vivi directs the actions of the rebel army and rebuilds the country. The rest of the straw hats haven't woken up yet, but Robin got up early. The time has come, time to watch the text of history. The place where the historical text is stored is very secret, in the royal tomb. Cobra led Robin there, it didn't take long for the two of them to come out. Robin didn't say what was recorded on it, and Cobra didn't ask. Your Highness the King. A soldier came to announce. The dachshund you asked us to find has been found. Okay. Cobra looked at Robin beside him, who walked towards the dormitory with interest. 
Arriving at the same time as the dachshund, there was also a letter that had been running all night. Although most of the soldiers here didn't recognize him, the soldiers here couldn't stop him. Afraid of trouble, he simply borrowed his illusion ability to sneak in. When Robin returned to the dormitory, he saw a listless hedgehog lying on his bed. There was not enough rest time at all, and sure enough, the bed was still comfortable to sleep on. I really want to change the bed on the melee to this one. But the internal space is not enough. How about driving the cook to the kitchen to sleep? Hearing the footsteps, he looked back and waved weakly. This is our first official meeting. I am Uchiha Nobu, a ninja. Although the two of them have had negative distance contact before, this is the first time like this. They are not shadow clone, not a spirit body, and they are not locked up in a prison. You slept in my bed. Really? Sorry, I don't know why I can't seem to get up. As expected of the evil miss. All Sunday, she actually placed a powerless seal on the bed. Shin groaned on the bed and couldn't get up. Robin didn't pay attention to it. Instead, he noticed the small package under the bed. What is that? I brought this gift specially for Vivi, please don't peek at it. Lying on the bed, Shin quickly fell asleep again. The huge dormitory became quiet again, and even Karu followed Vivi out. The sun shone in through the window, and Robin couldn't help but squint his eyes, with a smile on his lips. It's been a long time since I've enjoyed this peaceful and peaceful atmosphere. No need to worry about being on constant alert, not even the intrigues of Kakuzu. The arrogant chopper, the money-hungry Nami, the lustful Sanji, and Luffy who went to war with Shichibukai for his friends. And that ninja who was extremely smart when fighting, but now acts like a child. What a nice group of people, although we still don't know what kind of characters Usopp and Zoro are, but the people on the same boat are probably very interesting people. Robin was thinking about her future. She couldn't stay here forever, since she was still alive, she naturally had to continue to seek history. It would be fun to have this group of people as company on the road. She smiled softly and returned to the table to pick up the book she had not finished reading last night. Has the country been saved? Ikarim landed in the port town of Rapeseed, where people were busy repairing damaged streets and buildings. Ikarim initially thought that the war had spread here until he learned what had happened from a citizen's mouth. The king admitted to taking away the rainwater, and the big ship fell from the sky. The king besieged Kosha. When it rained, the king's army began to massacre the onlookers. The king's army fell one after another, and after the rain stopped, Kosha announced to everyone that the previous king was a fake, and the king's army was also fake. The king did not take away the rain, the real murderer was Crocodile. Things turned out far beyond the expectations of the residents, and the entire rebel army was sent to the rainlands to defeat Crocodile. This is all Ikarim learned. The citizens here still don't know that Crocodile has been defeated. He rented a carriage and rushed to Albana without stopping. The sea area around Alabasta. There are two ships moving forward side by side. One is a rain ship with a turtle head at the bow. A thick gun barrel is placed on the deck and pointed at the sky. On the barrel, there is the mark of BW, which is the logo of the Baroque Working Society. The other is a warship belonging to the nearby naval headquarters, Colonel Hina. Smoker left in the rain just to seek help from Hina. Without definite evidence, he cannot take action against Shichibukai, so he wants to find evidence that Baroque Company, Limited released dancing powder. With the help of Hina's warship, we finally found the artificial rainfall ship in front of us filled with dancing powder. It rained heavily last night, could it be that you used dancing powder? Hina, who has sassy light pink hair parted in the middle, asked. Smoker is like a master, sitting boldly and grandiose in the main seat of the room, holding two cigars that never leave his mouth. Alabasta insists on not using dancing powder, how could I break it? I was rude, Hina reflects on it, turn around, we're too late, Crocodile has already been defeated. Not long ago, Smoker received a call from Tashigi and learned about Alabasta's current situation. Their original target was the port city of Rapeseed, but now they're heading to Aluma to pick up Crocodile and other criminals. Since most of Marine's troops are in the rainy area, it will be faster to take the Centaur River. Following the river, the two sides will meet at Aluma. This seems to be my warship, right? Smoker, once known as the White Hunter, has not only gained weight, but his tone has become much more arrogant. Hina was surprised. Hey, the two of them are old friends, so Smoker naturally won't take these words to heart. Contact the headquarters and report the situation here. The news was passed quickly, and Smoker reported it truthfully, without taking any credit. It was the pirate straw hat crew who saved the country, not Smoker as a Marine. But naturally such words cannot be spread. As an ally of the world government, Shichibukai planned to steal the country, but was defeated by the pirates in the end. Above the red line, the holy land of Mariajoy, in the hall that symbolizes power, five old men expressed their opinions in different postures. An environmental warrior wearing a dark blue suit, long straight white hair, and a long beard. Marcus Masheng was the first to say, Pirates save the country. Marines' role is only to receive defeated soldiers. It's a huge scandal. A farming warrior god who wears a crimson suit, has blonde hair behind his beard, and a scar on his chest. Shepherd 10 Peter didn't pay much attention to the news. Topman Wachuli stroked his beard. 
The red hair seems to be making some moves and is approaching Whitebeard's position. Wearing a dark green suit, he is bald, has a splayed beard, and has a moderate birthmark on his forehead. D and Ninja are really two troublesome guys. Wanakuna's ninjas don't have this ability. The other people spoke one after another, seal the news, find Alabasta's reporter, and give the credit to the three marines present. Wearing a white robe, bald head, wearing glasses, the financial warrior god holds a samurai sword. According to the CB's information, a scientific defense warrior wearing a black suit, with white curly hair, a fluffy white beard, a flat hat, and a scar on the left side of his face. Jago Lucia Satan mentioned another piece of information. Saint Isanbalan v Nashowling expressed emotion. As for the rookie pirate group who defeated Sand Crocodile, gather the remaining Shichibukai to discuss the candidate for the new Shichibukai. The balance between the three camps must not be broken. The letter and Luffy's information were thrown aside by Saint Satan. It's just a group of new pirates, I don't have any extra energy to take care of them now. Compared to the meeting of the two four emperors, a group of rookie pirates who defeated the Sand Crocodile seemed inconsequential. Nothing about this matter must ever be revealed. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 147 Alabasta follow up for three days after the battle, Shin woke up before Luffy. At this time, four people, Zoro Sanji Usopp Nami, were missing from the room. The rest of the gang gathered here, including Vivi and Robin. Yeah, I slept so comfortably, Shin stretched, but the physical fatigue was still secondary, mainly mental fatigue. Fortunately, after getting some sleep, the impact of the Shadow Clone's dissipation was finally completely eliminated. Vivi and Chopper were standing in front of his bed and couldn't help but breathe a sigh of relief. That's right. The moment he saw Vivi, Shin remembered the small package he had brought, which was still placed safely beside the bed. Here, this is a gift for you. Shin handed the package to Vivi, and on the way he ran back to pick up the things he had brought back from the melee. Devil fruit. Vivi covered her mouth in shock, her eyes full of surprise and emotion. That's right. I don't think anyone on the ship will need the abilities of the explosive man and the umbrella holding woman. They can just add some combat capabilities to your place. Wiping the corners of her eyes, Vivi joked, I can't afford that much money now. There has been a lot of noise in the past few days, please ask Princess Vivi to accept our accommodation fee. Shin bowed gracefully, making Vivi couldn't help but laugh. Compared to Whiskey Peak, the two have become true partners. Okay, Chopper, get off me, I'm fine, don't keep holding on to my hair. No, there is obviously no physical injury at all, how could it be possible to sleep for so long? It's very possible that he's mentally ill, so he can't let his guard down. Although I know you mean well, I always have the urge to punch you. Hey, why? Okay, okay, you'd better go see Luffy. Throwing Chopper on Luffy's bed, Shin noticed Robin. To be precise, the dachshund at Robin's feet. Robin seems to be very fond of this weird-looking dachshund. He doesn't even read the book and just plays with the dachshund. Shin Hangdao fought for love and snatched the dachshund directly. Seeing the dachshund grinning and wanting to attack, Shin opened Sharingan and hypnosis it. Then, the dachshund transformed into a cannon. As expected, it's the cannon that ate the dachshund fruit, right? Shin said excitedly, the combination of objects and devil fruit is truly a miracle. Holding the cannon in his arms, he was about to go back to bed and start the experiment, but when he raised his legs, he tripped and fell to the ground. Oops. It felt like two hands were holding his legs, but when he looked back, there were only a few petals on the ground, and even the petals disappeared in the blink of an eye. Robin drank black tea calmly, looking like he was peacefully passing through time. After scratching his head, Shin suspected that he felt wrong. I am not Mangekio. I shouldn't have Mangekio's presbyopia like Kakashi, right? Now was not the time to think about this. Shin put the cannon on his bed and took out the number two scroll from his pocket. Vivi came over curiously and asked, What is this going to do? Just right, Vivi, bring me some fruits. While Vivi went to get the fruit, Shin used the spiritualization technique first. He couldn't tell the difference between the fruits of Zone and Paramecia, so he could only use the spiritualization technique first to confirm. If it can be controlled smoothly, it means it is a dog that has eaten the cannon fruit. If not, then it's a cannon that ate the dachshund fruit. The experiment ended quickly. Unlike Chopper, this time the letter didn't even enter the cannon. Sure enough, it's the cannon that ate the dachshund fruit. It just so happened that Vivi also brought some fruits at this time. Shin placed scroll number two on cannon. This time it took longer than the previous times, but things were successfully extracted from the cannon. There is no soul inside the scroll. After all, a cannon can have the soul of a ghost. But there is a red dot inside, representing a devil fruit. Putting the number two scroll aside first, Shin brutally dismembered the cannon in front of him. Vivi looked at this scene curiously. After all, the dachshund was a living creature before, but now it didn't move much until it was dismembered into parts. Wait a minute Vivi, put the fruit on the bed first. Shin took out a kanai and pressed it against the second scroll. As the red dot inside the second scroll moves, the appearance of the kanai is also changing. The ring at the end unfolded and turned into a tail. The white cloth wrapped in the middle was stretched out, 
and part of it became the abdomen. The front end gradually becomes a dog head. In the blink of an eye, an ordinary kanai turned into three palm-sized dox hunts. The whole body is black with the color of kanai, the fangs in its mouth are very sharp, and the claws under its feet are shining with cold light. Hum, the size is still limited by the size of the object. Shen observed thoughtfully, and he couldn't help but have a guess in his mind. He couldn't control Zone's ability, and the combination of objects and Zone would show the properties of living creatures. Could it be that Zone's fruit contains the will of an animal, so it will behave like an animal when combined with an object? He had no way to verify this question, so he could only make his own guess. He would come to a conclusion after finding more Zone's ability users in the future. Take out the red dot in the kanai and transfer it to the fruit brought by Vivi. The red dot selected a fruit similar to a banana. In the blink of an eye, a Zone's devil fruit was formed in front of Vivi's eyes. Do you need me to pay you 20 million belly? If you insist on giving it, I can only accept it reluctantly. HMPH, I won't give it. When Vivi wanted to know how Shin took out the devil fruit, Shin asked for 20 million. Now he took the initiative to show the whole process of taking out the devil fruit in front of her. Vivi couldn't help but feel a warmth in her heart, and the corners of her mouth curved. Time passed quickly, and it was noon in a blink of an eye. Nami returned to the room, carrying a large package behind her, which contained the books she took from Cobra. There are books about navigation, medical books about Chopper, and a few books that Robin asked for. Under Robin's money offensive, the two quickly became good sisters. Robin also took the time to coach Vivi and teach her how to govern the country. Although Robin has no experience in governing a country, Robin has managed the Baroque working group, and combined with the books he usually reads, it is enough to guide Vivi. Not only Vivi and Nami, but Chopper, Sanji, and Usopp were all captured by Robin. Only Zoro was still on guard, but given his character he wouldn't say much. After lunch, everyone was still waiting in the room for Luffy to wake up. Sanji and Usopp also returned from outside the palace. As soon as the sexy cab arrived, he showed great courtesy to the three beauties. In fact, Robin didn't attack Sanji at all, he surrendered on his own. Usopp still had some sense of conscience and gave Shin a basket of strawberries. Is this a desert strawberry? No, these are regular strawberries. Why not get desert strawberries? Because that thing is a poisonous spider, not a strawberry, you sweet tooth who doesn't listen to what others say. I don't care, I want to eat desert strawberries. This is the plumpest variety I've ever carefully selected. Usopp's face was gloomy, he took the largest strawberry from the basket, fluttered it and stuffed it into Shin's mouth. Eat it with gratitude, ooh, ads by Big Gear. Chapter 148 Alabasta Follow-Up 5 Yeah, I slept so comfortably. It was approaching dinner time, and Luffy finally woke up. Everyone in the room breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, everyone was out of danger. Ah, where's the hat? My hat. I'm so hungry. Where's breakfast? Hat. Breakfast. Hat. Breakfast. Shin took a straw hat from the side and pressed it on the captain's head. Why are you so noisy as soon as you wake up? Besides, it's not breakfast, but dinner. Dinner. That's right. You've been in a coma for three days. Nami, who was sorting the books, replied. So, I lost 15 meals. Why do you calculate this kind of thing so quickly? And it's still five meals a day. Sanji and Usopp complained one after another. The sound of the door opening came. Zoro, who had been training outside for a day, finally came back. Chopper was ready to greet him, but the smile on his face instantly disappeared when he saw Zoro's outfit. Zoro, you're out training again, right? Yeah, I can do whatever I want. No, I won't do it if I say no. I'm the ship's doctor. The bandage can't be taken off yet. It's too much trouble to hang around with something like that, and it's not convenient at all to exercise. It's just a bandage I put on to prevent you from exercising. Chopper transformed into a strong man form, holding a bandage roll in both hands, and flew towards Zoro to enforce the ship's doctor's order. Don't move, ha ha ha, Mr. Luffy. Robin's voice interrupted Luffy's laughter. He turned to look curiously, with a puzzled look on his face. It took him a while to realize Robin's identity. You are the guy who gave me the antidote. My name is Nico Robin. Suga, thank you, Robin. Although it's a bit abrupt. Robin put down the book in his hand and came to Luffy with a smile on his face. Can you let me join your gang? Okay, Luffy. This shout was from Sanji, full of happiness and satisfaction. The friends around him have already been taken over by Robin, and even Bibi doesn't say much. Except for Zoro who is a little wary, there is only one person who looks a little confused. Is it a little too hasty? Mr. Ninja. Seeing Shin's expression, Robin immediately said with a hidden smile. Don't forget you were inside me. Hey, don't use. Bastard hedgehog head. Without waiting for Shin to explain, Sanji grabbed his collar with tears in his eyes, his face twisted with jealousy. What enviable bastard things have you done to your pretty big sister? I was. I will never forget the pain in the desert. Excuse me with death, you bastard hedgehog. Listen to the explanation, you pornographic kappa. Robin refers to the spiritualization technique and the magical narakumi technique on the stone ground outside the rain land. 
The former truly entered Robin's body, and the latter truly awakened Robin's painful memories. But after Robin said this, the painting style completely deviated. Nami and others saw the letter controlling Robin's body and flying back to the palace. Zoro Yusuf, who didn't know the truth, looked at the letter like a scumbag. What do you two look like? Do you want to lie down like this perverted kappa? Who's lying down, you mature womanizer? Yusuf, let's go. Why do you want me? You three go ahead and make trouble. You have knowledge and color, you take charge. I'm good at this, go, Zoro, right hook. Let me count them, green plants, erotic kappa, and long-nosed monsters. Don't think that three melons and two dates can defeat me. Yusuf took command, Sanji and Zoro stepped forward to attack, and a four-person war soon began. Pillows were flying everywhere for a while, and there would be a few water balloons from time to time. The battle soon spread to Luffy and Chopper, and the four-player battle escalated to a six-player battle. The crusade against the hedgehog head also turned into a big fight. The girls' group was safe because Robin used his power to block all the flying pillows. Crunch. The door opened again, and an ant who looked a lot like Ikarim came in. Just as she was about to say something, a pillow hit her in the face. Okay, you guys, you accidentally hurt someone else. The highest combat power intervened and quickly ended the war. The unconvinced hedgehog punched Sanji twice more and spit out a water ball to Zoro. As expected of a young man, he is really full of energy. The ant was not angry and said with a smile. Wiping the water stains on his face, Zoro's pupils dilated instantly and the corners of his mouth twitched. Sure enough, you have that kind of hobby, right? That's wrong. Bibi explained to everyone. This is Ikarem's wife, Miss Taragodan, who is responsible for the logistics in the palace. You can't look so similar to a husband and wife. Speaking of which, is the curly-haired man still alive? Didn't I tell you before, oh, you were being beaten at that time. Ikarem Sang returned to the palace two days ago. It was still Vivi who explained to everyone. Tila Godon clapped her hands, and the two maids behind her pushed a cart of fruit in. The dinner starts in 30 minutes. I heard that you guys are very good eaters. Before that, Let's eat some fruit to fill our stomachs. I see. Juggle a trick. It was very fast. Luffy ate all the fruits in one bite and it only took 0.3 seconds. Even so, he was not satisfied. Auntie, I want three days worth of food. I don't want it. I won't lose it to the young man's stomach. Half an hour later, the dinner began. This dinner was of high standard, not only attended by the king and princess, but also Ikarim came to accompany the guests. There are also guards around, which can be regarded as the highest etiquette in Alabasta. However, the dining guests were not very polite and were even excessively noisy. Luffy was holding the rice ball in his left hand and the meat in his right hand. He was mumbling something to Cobra while eating. Chopper learned to be smart and knew that if he was too late to eat, he might not be able to eat, so he sucked the noodles crazily. Zoro shouted for some wine, and Usopp made a spicy rice ball as bait to trap Luffy. Sanji slapped Chopper on the back and he choked. The hedgehog head wandered around the battlefield, constantly stealing sweets in front of everyone. There were only three girls who could be considered elegant. A grand dinner finally turned into a lively banquet. Luffy came to the table to cheer, Usopp performed a special trick of putting his nose on the plate, and Chopper also came on stage to show off his newly learned chopstick dance. After the dinner, everyone went to the bath in the palace. Two lions spitting hot water attracted the attention of Luffy and Usopp, and they both ran under them and began to meditate. It's euphemistically called practice. As a serious ninja, Nobu shook his head and showed the two of them how to run on the fountain. Luffy wanted to imitate, but ended up falling into the water. Sanji walked up to Ikarim with a look on his face. Where is the women's bath? Idiot, how could I possibly tell you? It's right next door. Ikarim stuck to the bottom line, but he didn't expect that Cobra immediately rebelled and pointed the direction. Under the leadership of Sanji, everyone climbed up the wall in a sneaky way, but Shin and Zoro did not go. Luffy and Chopper may have found it fun, so they climbed up. At this time, in the women's bathroom, three ladies were sitting on small stools, and Robin was using his power to rub their backs. The three of them turned around to check when they heard the noise. Nami sighed and turned around wrapped in a bathrobe. Listen, 100,000 belly per person. Fist of happiness. Phew, this move is so powerful that even Luffy Sanji can't help but spit out nosebleeds and fall to the ground. After sitting up and wiping his nosebleed, Cobra said solemnly. Grateful. Quote dot dot dot. Old pervert. That's not the case. Cobra explained hurriedly. It's a matter for this country. As he spoke, he solemnly bowed his head to everyone including Ikarim. I only act as a father and a resident of this land. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, he, don't worry. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 149 Alabasta Follow Up 6, Let's Leave Tonight. Tonight? We have no reason to stay here anymore, right? In the dormitory, Nami told everyone about her plan. Luffy, what's your decision? The letter left the decision in the hands of the captain. Luffy looked serious and gave the answer after careful consideration. Okay, let's go after one more Alabasta meal. Think it over carefully, bastard captain. 
Bulu Bulu, just as Shin was about to step forward to deal with the greedy captain, the voice of a phone bug suddenly came. Usopp took out his phone bug from his crossbody bag and answered the call. Moses Moses, here is the letter. Usopp raised his head curiously and asked. Is this your shadow clone? Shin nodded. He went back to the melee to get the devil fruit, and naturally a shadow clone was assigned to guard the ship. He took the phone and asked, did something happen on the melee? Well, nothing happened yet, but a shemale came up. Ahahaha, ah, ah. long time no see, little hedgehog chan, Mr. Two. Upon hearing this voice, Shin instantly got goosebumps. What are you going to do to the Mary? Don't be so serious, the slave family is here to help you this time. A few days ago, Marine was gathering the defeated members of the Baroque working group, and Mr. Two narrowly escaped. He wanted to flee here immediately, but his ship docked on the deserted bank near Luma, and Marine was gathering prisoners on the other side of the Centaur River. Moreover, Marine has further blocked the coastline, and seems to be planning to wipe out the Straw Hat crew as well. Mary in the red circle, Marine in the blue circle, Mr. Two in the black circle. After exploring the surroundings, he discovered the Mary and the Shadow clone guarding the ship above. The purpose of his call was also very simple. The slave family is here to help you escape from Marine's capture. Feng Zhang, asterisk 3. If it's for friends, even the slave family of Daoshanhuahai will go for it. This is the way of the slave family's shemales. The way of the shemale. The way of the shemale. Asterisk 3. Shin looked at the three idiots holding each other's backs in front of him and was speechless for a while. They were obviously trying to attract more people to break through the blockade. However, it is indeed time to leave. There is only one shadow clone on the ship, and it will definitely not be able to stay. After communicating with Xiao Feng, everyone determined the next action. Xiao Feng stayed where he was, working with Shadow Clone to protect the melee from being discovered by Marine. Everyone sets off immediately, with the help of the express duck, they can reach their destination quickly. Then Shin took everyone across the river, walked for a while back to the melee, and escaped from the Marine blockade with Xiao Feng. After confirming the action plan, everyone began to pack their luggage. In fact, they didn't have many things, mainly some personal belongings. Instead, the letter brought out a package containing dachshund fruit. The round stone plate and two devil fruits had been handed over to Bibi. Compared with when I came here, this time I set off lightly. However, while everyone was moving, Bibi remained silent and sat on the bench with a tangled expression. Eating the bento packed by Sanji from the kitchen, Luffy hurriedly shouted to Bibi with the meat in his mouth and the package on his back. We're leaving Bibi, hurry up and pack your things. Wait a moment, Nami stopped the talkative Luffy, she knew what Bibi was thinking now. Should you go to sea and become a pirate, or stay in a country that needs you? This is destined to be a decision that will be regrettable no matter what you choose. Such a decision is also unlikely to have an immediate answer. Nami stepped forward and hugged the princess gently, and said to her. Listen Bibi, at 12 o'clock tomorrow, we will sail the Mary through the East Port once, but we will not be able to berth there. If you choose to continue the adventure with us, there is only that moment of opportunity. We will warmly welcome you to join the ranks of pirates when the time comes. Bibi, absolutely, you must come. Luffy, don't do this. What, Shin? Don't you want Bibi to come with you? It's up to Bibi to decide. After some tossing, everyone left on the express duck team. Only Bibi and Karu were left in the dormitory that had been bustling for several days, and it was extremely quiet. Crunch. The sound of the door opening and Ikarim's breathing broke the silence. Looking at the empty room, Ikarim asked anxiously. Your Highness, where are they? A smile appeared on Bibi's face. They are pirates, of course they went to see. But this, Ikarim gestured to the three bounty orders in his hand, which had portraits of Luffy, Shin, and Zoro on them. Their bounty has increased significantly, and they will definitely be targeted by Marine. Kuru, no, phone bug, at least let them know the current situation. That's not necessary, calm down Ikarim, even if they find out, they will only be happy and nothing will change. Vivi stepped forward and pushed Ikarim out of the room. Don't worry, go to bed early, you have to get up early tomorrow, right? That's right. Tomorrow morning is your resolution. After leaving the room, Ikarim couldn't sleep, and kept thinking about Bibi's expression and demeanor in his mind. So calm. Based on observations over the past few days, Her Highness Bibi clearly regards them as true partners. How could it be like this when my partner is leaving? Is Her Highness Bibi planning to leave with them secretly? No, if you want to leave, you can follow me tonight. But, while his thoughts were racing, Ikarim still fell asleep. But there was another person who really couldn't sleep. In the empty dormitory, Vivi was lying on the bed, unable to fall asleep. It's too quiet, Vivi couldn't help but sigh in her heart. I haven't experienced such a quiet night in a long time. There are no navigators who throw their pillows around after falling asleep, and there are no swordsmen who train day and night. Captains who steal food in the middle of the night will always be caught by the chef. There are also snipers who talk in their sleep, and ship doctors who drool while sleeping. And the ninja who was the most honest when sleeping. 
Bibi looked at the two devil fruits beside the bed in a daze. She had long been accustomed to the noisy life on the ship, but the sudden tranquility made her feel uncomfortable. Dot dot dot. Time passed very quickly, and despite the help of the express duck, they arrived at the docking location of the Mali at about six o'clock in the morning. With the protection of the reef, it was barely discovered by the marine side. Little Hedgehog Chan. Seeing everyone arriving, Xiao Feng swooped down and hugged Shin. Shin frowned and came behind Robin. Xiao Feng braked quickly and said in shock. Miss. All Sunday. Why are you here? Ah, I am also a member of the Straw Hat Pirates now. Nani. Xiao Feng's eyes flickered between Robin and Shin, and finally he came up with the answer, his expression relaxed. The only person who knew something about the situation was Nami who wrote the letter, but the letter only exposed the kingdom of Kamabaka, and Nami had no idea what the significance of this country was. Nobun breathed a long sigh of relief, the matter of pretending to be a transvestite must not be exposed. So you are too, woo woo woo. They were holding hands and cheering for each other. Yes, then, Shin dismissed the shadow clone guarding the ship, and used seawater to form a water dragon and rushed towards the idiot four. Robin smiled, didn't ask any more questions, turned around and followed Nami's lead to the girl's dormitory to put away her clothes. Your shadow clone almost caused him to be killed by crocodile. Let's play with Luffy and the others. Why do you have such a good relationship with Mr. Two? With quick eyes and quick hands, Shin covered this gullible shemale. What is it, then? Of course it's because my personality is more charming. No. It's nothing, he's possessed by a ghost. Shin said nervously, then threw the ladyboy to where Luffy and the other two were. Robin walked over with a smile and asked a question in his heart. Real. Stop making trouble, you guys, come over and help. Really. Ads by Bid Gear. Chapter 150 Alabasta Ending. San Jing Hua Yuan Ju Dian Ming Gu Wu Pu Mi Er Rakuten Travel HK. 505 Hong Kong Dollars Rakuten Travel. Ri Ben Xing Nei Ling Xian Wang Sheng Lu Xing Shi. As everyone packed their luggage, the time came to 8 o'clock. The Meili and Xiao Feng's ships began to break outward. Although the marine blockade is very tight, it stands to reason that with the Genjutsu around, no matter how many warships there are, they are no match. After all, as long as they don't know how to see and hear, just putting an illusion on the letter can bring their ship to a standstill. Unless the hedgehog is approached by some tough opponent. On the sea, two pirate ships were being chased and intercepted by eight warships. The leader is the nearby marine colonel, Hina and in the sky above, there are three figures intertwining with each other. After blocking a blow from finger pistol, Shin looked at the two people in front of him with some annoyance. It's not over yet, you two bastards. Can't you let the heroes who saved this country go to sea? Especially you, Shin pointed at Dole, who was still bandaged, and couldn't help but complain. Go back and recuperate, you bastard. Dole, who was stuck in the air, exhaled a puff of smoke. I'm going to the new world after that. If I don't take revenge now, I'm afraid I won't have a chance. How about letting go of grudges with a smile, not so good. What about you? I heard that the little girl under your command came to the palace to apologize. With this apology, can you let us leave? Smoker's lower body turned into smoke, holding two cigars from 10,000 years in his mouth. Straw Hat and the others might be able to, but you can't. Evil Uchiha Imp. Ah, Shin collapsed and grabbed his hair. Two men are defeated. Today I will defeat you first and then go to sea leisurely. With that said, Shin blessed technique holding the earth spear, and started fighting with the two again. They said it was easy, but fighting one against two was not that simple, and the battle was at a stalemate for a while. Hey, is the little hedgehog really okay? On the melee, Xiaofeng swallowed his saliva. Shin's ninjutsu, Dole's tempest kick, and Smoker's smoke, he felt that he could easily defeat him in any of them. Luffy stretched out his arm, blasted the incoming shells with a punch, and pressed his hat. No problem, Shin told us to leave first. Everyone on the boat also showed their special abilities. With the blessing of seeing and hearing, Usopp used the ship's cannon to intercept the attack. Zoro cuts through the cannonball and Sanji kicks it back. Hina on the opposite side is a cage cage fruit user who can shoot black spears. Due to her carelessness, several holes were poked in the bottom of the melee. Robin and Chopper are repairing holes in the cabin. Nami is responsible for overall command and finding breaking points. But unfortunately, due to different destinations, they were unable to break through to the breaking point. Let's break through head on, hey. Breaking through from the south will cause the least damage, right? Xiaofeng shouted in panic, the breakthrough point was to the south, how could this navigator think of a frontal breakthrough? If you want to leave, just leave, we have an appointment with someone. What kind of agreement, shouldn't you consider your own life first at this time? We are going to meet our partners. A flash of lightning seemed to flash in his mind, and Xiaofeng, who was shouting, was shocked, and he couldn't help but show a moved look on his face. He turned around and jumped back to his ship and said to his crew, Escape at this time is against the rules of a human being. Risk your own life to meet your comrades, if such a loyal friend refuses to save him. Can you still eat tomorrow's meal? Everyone, listen, 
and, Little Straw Hat, listen too. Colonel Hina, the two ships have begun to separate. The bait is a swan boat, right? No, all the straw hats are on the swan boat, the sheep's bow boat is the bait. Chase. Hina had no clue and could only rely on her telescope to report. Smoker and Dole above wanted to warn them, but Shin, who noticed their intentions, immediately accelerated the frequency of their attacks. Although I don't know what happened, I just need to stop it first and that will be it. Shin's actions were not wrong. In order to cover the evacuation of the melee, Xiao Feng and his men dressed up as Luffy and others to attract the attention of the warship. However, when it came to the boarding battle, Xiao Feng and others' ships soon exploded. The moment he realized Xiao Feng's purpose, Shin recognized this friend and was ready to help. Things have turned, and this time it was Dole and the two who blocked the letter. He could only look gloomy and start fighting these two annoying spirits again. The two also chose to fight in unison, allowing Hina below to have time to catch up with the melee. Time moves forward slightly, and Ikarim has a nightmare. In the dream, Vivi turned into a pirate queen. After waking up, he hurried to the dormitory, only to find that Vivi was wearing a dress with the help of the palace ladies. Before he could breathe a sigh of relief, Vivi dismissed the outsiders and told him and Cobra her request. At 10 o'clock, Vivi's pledge ceremony begins. Through the telephone and broadcast, people all over the country can hear the voice here. The square was filled with onlookers. They knew from the newspapers that the turmoil in the country in the past few years was caused by the sand crocodile. With Marine's help, peace has been restored here. However, they did not wait for Princess Vivi. The next person to appear was Ikarim in women's clothing. Vivi was currently riding Karu and heading towards the east port. There is also a telephone bug on the top of Karu's head, allowing her to speak simultaneously, and her voice reaches the ears of every citizen. It was a journey through a sea of darkness, to find hope from despair. The ocean outside the country is really vast, and there are many incredible islands. Creatures never seen before, like a dreamlike scene. The music played by the waves is sometimes peaceful, as if to soothe the troubles in my heart. It sometimes stirs up, as if it wants to tear my will into pieces and laugh at my cowardice. It was in that storm that I came across a small boat. That little boat kept cheering me up. Even if it encounters a countercurrent, it will face the difficulties. Then he pointed forward and said to me, Look, there is light ahead. Although this legend will be considered nonsense. At this time, the residents were confused and did not know what the princess was talking about. But the Icarum in front of them was real, and they kept shouting for the real princess to come on stage. The time passed like this between Vivi's speech and Icarum's women's clothing. Shin finally knocked the two annoying spirits into the bottom of the sea, dragging their exhausted bodies onto the melee. A wounded man and a capable person, even if it is two against one, cannot win the letter of fighting at sea. The fierce battle lasted for four hours from 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock. In the end, he finally won the battle with a broken neck. Then he used overloaded ninjutsu and flew back. At this time, let alone fighting, he didn't even have the strength to move. The injury to his neck caused him to be unable to speak, and he could only simply hum and hum. Fortunately, Chopper was not frightened to death, thinking that there would be another mute on the ship. Fortunately, after examination, he could fully recover as long as he rested. It was already 12 o'clock, and the melee docked at the East Blue Shore, but Vivi never showed up. Until everyone was about to leave, Vivi's shout finally came. Everyone, I'm here to say goodbye to everyone. Although I really want to go on adventures with everyone, I love my country so much. A smile appeared on Luffy's face. No matter what choice Vivi made, it would not prevent them from being true partners. I, I decided to stay in this country, if we can meet again one day. Can you still call me partner? You will always be my partner. Vivi was both moved and a little unable to help laughing. Shin's current posture was really weird, as if he had no bones and was only supported by Robin beside him. Fool but she finally broke down into a smile and raised her left hand together with Karu beside her. She stepped forward and supported Wai Chai Shin to stand up, and the two of them came to the back deck of the melee. If we make our relationship public, it will definitely cause trouble for Vivi. Vivi didn't wait for anyone's response, tears streaming down her face. Just say goodbye silently. After taking a bath, this kind of stuff will naturally be washed away. Nami was stunned for a moment, then quickly took out a pen and drew a cross on everyone's left forearm. But everyone on board the melee revealed their left arms, which were engraved with symbols symbolizing their partners. At the same time, he activated his ability to create a hand on Shin's shoulder to help him raise his left hand. Ah! Shin weakly pointed at Robin hiding beside the boat. Robin also raised his left hand, and his right hand was still holding the waist of useless Chai Shin, supporting him to stabilize his body. At this time everyone has gathered here. Ah! Shin, who was lying on the deck, moved his left hand excitedly. Robin did not refuse the sign on his arm and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but curve. Nami grabbed Luffy's mouth, and Marine was already chasing him. It is engraved with the symbol of companionship. Ads by Bid Gear. Chapter 151 New Reward Order Arrives Sanjing Hua Yuan Ju Dian Ming Gu Wu Pu Mi Er Rakuten Travel HK. 505 Hong Kong Dollars Rakuten Travel. 
Ri Ben Sheng Nei Ling Xian Wang Sheng Lu Sheng Shi. After Luffy and others left, Vivi took over the management of Alabasta. The 700,000 rebels were divided into three parts. 300,000 returned to the king's army. Those who did not want to continue fighting, numbering around 100,000, returned to their respective cities to start a new life. Vivi gave Mr. Five's fruit to Kosa, and he led the remaining 300,000 people to fight against the pirates. At the same time, Yuyan also reopened, but the banana crocodile at the top of the pyramid was replaced by a statue of Karu, with a straw hat on his head. Miss. Valentine's fruit power was eaten by Karu. With this ability, Karu could finally fly with Vivi. Vivi also personally went to the island where Dory and Brogi lived, and told the two giants on the island about their subsequent adventures. Miss. Golden Week and the unlucky combination on the island were also taken back to Alabasta by her. The little girl had no scheming ideas and opened a cafe in Albana, occasionally using her abilities to help customers solve some psychological problems. The unlucky combination was even more satisfying. Vivi gave them a few fish and they surrendered. However, Vivi doesn't need them to collect intelligence or fight. Most of the time, Taragodan uses them to deliver lunch to Vivi who was busy at work. Although Cobra is still the king in name only, he has already lived a leisurely retirement life. The heir of a king disappeared without a trace, and he would sneak out from the palace to play from time to time. The most extreme one even went as far as Juba, and followed Uncle Dodo and the returning residents to dig sand for three days. In the end, it was Ikarim who rode Bell around the world and caught him back to the palace. Of course, these are all things for later. After the melee left Alabasta, everyone felt a little depressed. But the voyage must continue, and they can only cheer up and move forward. With Robin's help, Shin returned to the recliner, still looking at the sky with his eyes blank. Robin took out another recliner and sat next to him, reading a book quietly. A news bird flew over, dropped a newspaper, and hit the loser Shin squarely in the face. Ooh, after Robin handed Newsbird a coin, he used his power to transform his arm in time and took away the newspaper, otherwise the majestic ninja would have almost killed the newspaper alone. There is very interesting news. Robin did not read the newspaper, but took out four reward notices and chuckled. Mr. Captain, what happened? Luffy, who was about to go to the kitchen to steal some food, turned back curiously and asked. Your new reward. Really, Luffy excitedly jumped down from the second floor and snatched the two bounty tickets from Robin's hand, leaving two more in Robin's hand. This movement also attracted everyone's attention. Chopper couldn't squeeze in and sat directly on Zoro's head. 1. 100 million belly. Ah ha 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 ha, 100 million belly. Luffy raised the bounty order and placed one hand on his hip. His disappointment was instantly washed away by the amount of the bounty order. Chopper's eyes shone. It's so awesome, I really want to be rewarded. Sooner or later, Chopper, when you become a maritime warrior like me, Marine will definitely post a reward for you. Does Usopp have a bounty on his head too? Look, this one has my back on it, so this counts as a reward for me and Luffy. Really, Usopp is so awesome. Luffy was immersed in the excitement of 100 million belly and didn't pay attention to Usopp's words. The idiot trio celebrated shoulder to shoulder. Reward order. Reward order. Different from the cheerful atmosphere here, the aura on the other side is clearly excessive. Pirate hunter, Roranoa Zoro, with a bounty of 79 million belly. That's just a little bit, but it's not enough. Although he said this, his mouth Kakuzu almost reached the back of his head, and at the same time he kept wandering around Sanji. Let me think about it, which guy doesn't have a reward? Oh, so it's you. After all, you are just a weakling. Chef, let me, 79 million, protect you from now on. You're so annoying, you bastard green algae head. Ah, uh, what did you say? The reward order has blocked your ears and you can't hear? Zoro put the bounty notice on the side of his face, kept approaching Sanji, and soon forced him to the edge of the boat where Robin was. This also allowed Sanji to see the reward notice in Robin's hand. Son of the devil, Nico Robin, with a bounty of 79 million. Ignoring Zoro's face, Sanji dropped the cigarette butt from his mouth and his voice was full of shock. Robin Chan, are you also a criminal with a reward? And the amount is the same as green algae head. Robin still had a calm expression and drank the red tea. Yes, it happened a long time ago. I didn't think it was something worth showing off, so I didn't tell you. Wow, Robin Chan, who is powerful yet low-key, is so charming. Zoro lost his arrogance at this time. After all, Robin had said it a long time ago, it took him so long to reach this amount and he had nothing to show off. But it just needs to be taller than a hedgehog's head. Ah, uh, the unknown creature on the couch nearby made a dissatisfied sound. On both sides of the recliner were two arms transformed by Robin, holding up the reward notice for him to see. When Robin heard the voice of the letter, he couldn't help but reveal a malicious smile. The reward order was turned over, and the letter's reward order was thoughtfully delivered to Zoro. Mysterious Ninja, Uchiha Letter, Bounty. Dot one, dot one hundred million belly. The more Zoro spoke, the less confident he became, and he still stumbled over the last one hundred million belly before he said it. 
A golden light washed away his embarrassment, Nami's eyes turned into Pele, walked over and said with a serious face. Let me see, 100 million belly. Her eyes moved between the four bounty prisoners, and her tone was full of satisfaction. 200 million belly plus 279 million. The total is, 358 million. Hey, hey, that's a lot of money, boom, Nami-san, Nami-san. Usopp, come help. Nami-san fainted, don't worry about her, she died happily. At night, in the girls' dormitory, due to space constraints on the ship, the two of them had to squeeze into the same bed. Nami was still immersed in the excitement of 358 million, with a silly smile on her face. Robin put down the book in his hand and asked a question while there was no one waiting. Miss Navigator, can you tell me how you dealt with Mr. Two? Ah, why do you ask this suddenly? I'm just curious. There was nothing to hide about this little thing, so Nami told the party remembered. After meeting Xiao Feng and becoming friends with him, he discovered that Xiao Feng was an enemy. Shen took Xiao Feng to the back deck for interrogation and then let him go. By the way, the letter also specifically asked me to write a letter, saying it could dispel his suspicions. What's written in the letter? I can't remember clearly, it seems that we met in some Mabaka kingdom. Kamabaka kingdom? Yes, Robin, do you know what this kingdom is for? Just an ordinary country. Real? Nami still had some confusion on her face, but Robin had already opened the closet and was going to take a shower. I don't have a lot of clothes with me, can I wear two of yours? Of course, don't be so outspoken Robin, Robin is in a good mood now, with a smile on his face as he bathes. She had already guessed why Shin suddenly covered Xiao Feng's mouth when they were at the coast. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 152 The Straw Hats Laundry Day A week after leaving Alabasta, the Straw Hats found themselves in a major dilemma. Boom! In the conference room on the second floor, Nami slammed the table solemnly with a very serious tone. Everyone, we have a problem that we have to solve now. Yes, it is indeed a serious problem. Robin's tone was also serious. Zoro was shirtless and nodded, it is indeed a problem that must be solved. The other people spoke one after another and recognized the importance of this matter. Only Luffy was still eating meat with his upper body naked, with a puzzled look on his face. What are you talking about? Is there not enough meat? That's not okay. It's time to do the laundry. The excited captain pressed the letter, his tone full of helplessness. Yes, after leaving Alabasta, everyone experienced a week of continuous rain during the rest of the voyage. In addition, I didn't care about the clothes when I was in Alabasta, so I set sail in a hurry. Therefore, most of the clothes were in a dirty state, and everyone in the boys' group was already shirtless. Nami had more clothes, but because Robin didn't bring much clothes, the two of them had to wear separate clothes, but at least they still had one or two pieces that they could wear. I said I could use fire style to dry everyone, why don't you just do it? Hey, let me go, you've almost burned all my clothes. Usopp raised his hands to surrender. He had a hedgehog head and was known as the fire style immortal. Usopp didn't believe in evil at first and gave up after a few pieces of his clothes were burned. In order to save the big guy's nose, the Straw Hats started their journey to find the island again. Magnetic recording takes time. As long as the recording pointer is placed on the ship, there is no need to worry about the record being overridden. Finally, one day later, Zoro discovered an island full of light. It's amazing. It won't rain when we get there. Luffy looked far into the distance and saw that the cloudy sky seemed to be missing a piece, and the sunshine was shining on the small island. As the melee moved forward, everyone finally arrived at this small island. The area of this small island is not large. Everywhere as far as the eye can see is a plain covered with grass. There's a hill in the center of the island with a windmill built on it. Chopper rolled excitedly on the grass. There was ice and snow on Sigu Island, and Alabasta was all covered with sand. This was the first time Chopper had seen such a wide grassland. The boys group put on the last piece of clothing they had saved. In case there was anyone on the island, it would be unseemly to be topless. Zoro put on a black long-sleeved t-shirt and pants, Sanji put on a floral shirt, Luffy 10,000 years same red vest, Usopp put on a blue vest, and Shin changed into a blue-gray short-sleeved shirt. Chopper doesn't have to, it doesn't matter if Chopper doesn't wear a shirt. Nami is wearing a Madara dot dress and Robin is wearing a blue-gray knitted sweater and white shorts. Shin flew out before everyone else to check the situation. The island was not big and everyone was still packing their things, so Shin flew back. Hey, there's no one on the island, there's a puddle here to wash clothes. This place seems to have been abandoned for a long time, there's a windmill and a waterwheel next to the pool. There may have been people living here a few decades ago. But now the owner here has changed. Crocodile. There were more than a dozen crocodiles of different colors in the pool. Nami was so frightened that she almost threw the clothes in her hands. Shin is teasing a red crocodile by the pool and comforting Nami. It's okay, they're quite friendly. Chopper, please translate what they say. Oh, Chopper trotted all the way and came to the red crocodile, nodding seriously. They said we could wash our clothes here, it's running water, so it's okay. But they need food. Shin asked curiously, food? Is it meat? Chopper shook his head, 
No, it's a mushroom. Huh. Sanji also came over. He was still very concerned about topics like food. Where can I find mushrooms for them now? Besides, it doesn't look like there are mushrooms on this island. What do they usually eat? The red crocodile's mouth opened, and Chopper translated simultaneously, not on the island, but on the bottom of the sea. There is a sun mushroom growing on the seabed around this island that attracts sunlight, so the weather is always sunny on and around the island. Normally they feed on sunshine mushrooms, but recently, a sea cow came to the bottom of the sea and took over the sunshine mushrooms. Shin's face looked strange, is this story too cliché? However, the clothes still need to be washed, and Shui Zan's best letter volunteered to go to the bottom of the sea to pick up the sea cows. The rest of the people set up clothes drying racks by the pond. Instead of using a washboard, the group of crocodiles served as washboards. Robin was going to wash some of Nami's clothes, but Nami had to go out to hunt manatees, so he threw his clothes to Robin. The ability of flower flower fruit is really useful in daily life. Robin teased the pink crocodile in front of her while using her abilities to help everyone wash clothes. It's not just the clothes either, the sheets need to be washed too. Zoro holds Usopp's suspenders in his hand and is fighting a blue crocodile. Spit it out. This is not for you to eat. Ha ha ha. Chopper's hat needs to dry out too. Usopp held a basket of clothes and laughed at Chopper who was hanging on the clothes rack. Hey, stop playing. Chopper is a landlubber. If he falls into the water, he will be in trouble. Sanji still had some sense of conscience. While scrubbing someone's sailor suit, he shouted to Luffy, who was playing with the sheets, to put Chopper down. Luffy threw the red vest to Nami and was playing with the sheets. As shown in the picture the people above were doing laundry in full swing, and the letter below also successfully found the sea cow. It's indeed big enough, but it's just a sharing and thing. It's just right. Let's carry it up and hold a banquet. Shin also found the sunshine mushroom below. Indeed, it was exactly the same as Shin's impression of the sunshine mushroom in plants versus zombies. It's just that without the human face, it's just an ordinary mushroom. Aren't there any erupting submarine volcanoes? Dive into the bottom of the sea. The water temperature here is much higher than Shin expected. It is estimated that the existence of underwater volcanoes is why sunshine mushrooms, a magical plant that attracts sunlight, can grow. He packed up a large amount of mushrooms, carried the big buffalo, and flew back to the waterhole where everyone was like a warrior. Have a meal, before landing, Luffy stretched out his arms and grabbed the sea cow. Of course, it's impossible to eat it raw. Now that the clothes are washed, Sanji can come up and show off his cooking skills. The banquet started by the pool. Because there was not enough fuel on the ship, the letter also served as a gas stove for a while. But the hard work pays off, the sea cow tastes actually sweet, coupled with Sanji's craftsmanship. Your cooking skills are barely three points, but because it's sweet, I can give you a nine points. Hey, who was grabbing the food just now? Even Luffy didn't grab it from you. I was trying to avoid waste, no problem letter, I will eat it all. With that said, Luffy snatched the last piece of meat in front of Shin and stuffed it into his mouth. Captain Bastard, that's my special dessert with honey. Suga, no wonder it tastes so delicious, ha ha ha. Usopp complained. Only you two can eat it, it's already too sweet and you even add honey. Sweet. That's justice. Adds by Bid Gear Chapter 153 The Strange Salesperson in the Roving Reward Order. After leaving Crocodile Island, everyone experienced several adventures, both big and small. When Luffy was fishing, he caught a salesman hidden in a conch, which was filled with various products. The salesperson wanted to make a sales pitch, but found out that there were three extremely vicious bounty criminals on board. The photo on Robin's bounty order was from his childhood, so he didn't see it. But the reward amount for Luffy and the three of them alone was huge, so he hurriedly wanted to get back into the conch and run away. Unfortunately, Shin jumped into the sea and caught him before he could run very far. This time the salesperson was also honest and introduced the product to everyone, and it was still at the lowest price. Chopper bought an Apu Apu pulley that looked like a mouse and a rabbit. Luffy bought a Brayden. Sanji added a set of super delicious juices, not just because of the taste, but because of the name. In addition, Sanji also bought a set of kitchen utensils and a bread machine. Nami purchased the special paper that Shin had brought from Marine Base earlier. Shin bought a whitening skin cream, which was why he went to capture the salesperson. Of course, these two things are not for your own use. Here, it's for whitening. Robin, who was reading a book, was startled. He looked up and saw the hedgehog with his head tilted and stretching out his hand. Don't get me wrong, just think of it as, uh, a boarding gift. Really, Robin didn't refuse. With a smile on his lips, he put away this so-called, boarding gift. Hey, a guy who is seduced by women. What are you talking about, bastard green algae head? It turned out to be you. Sorry, sorry, I just saw a lustful hedgehog standing there. Really, it seems like you're not quite sober, let me help you sober up. Water style. Mito stream. The two people on the boat started fighting again, and the salesperson tremblingly collected the money, then hurriedly got into the conch and ran away. The straw hats have received a batch of new supplies, and the funds on board have been reduced. Currently, they still have about 65 million.
Compared with before, the total spent was only about 3 million. From Twin Capes to now, they haven't encountered any place where they need to spend money. There are people treating guests at Whiskey Peak, hunting in Little Garden, and Kuleha on Drum Island has not collected money. They arrived at Alabasta later, and they also had little time to spend money. After defeating Crocodile later, they didn't need to spend money. No matter how poor Cobra was, he would not let the benefactor who saved the country spend money in his own city. Further back there are some uninhabited islands where you can't even spend money. Maybe we won't be able to see Luffy's true strength until we get to the next town. And all the salespeople knew about the reward order, which naturally meant that the reward order had spread all over the world. Kirby and Belmieber were finally freed from their menial careers. After experiencing Manka suddenly slashing Marine's strongest vice admiral and successfully escaping, the two followed Garp for special training. At this time, they had just finished a round of endurance training, and Adjutant Bogart, who had been following Garp, sent them three reward orders. You also have some connections with these three people. If you don't work hard, you will be far away from them. Luffy san, Nobu san, and Zoro san. Kebi, who was originally paralyzed on the ground, instantly turned over and got up, his eyes full of excitement. Sure enough, they are so awesome. Belmiber on the other side was not in such a good mood. Although they gave him the opportunity to train with Garp, they were enemies before. Soon, Kabi's excitement was contagious to him, but it was forced. Belmiber, we have to work hard too. Let's have another round of battle training. Wait a minute, I haven't rested yet. Belmiber repeatedly waved his hand to refuse, and then received a punch from Kirby in the face. East Blue, Zoro's hometown, Shimotsuki Village. There is a gym in the center of the village, where Zoro once learned swordsmanship. The first time Zoro was put on a bounty, the person who was most concerned about him was not his master Koshiro, but Zoro's juniors in the gym. Master, master, did brother Zoro really study here? A little boy with a runny nose and a wooden sword in his hand ran up to Koshiro and asked. There were many little boys like this, all surrounding Koshiro. Koshiro squinted his eyes and answered the question with a smile. It's true. How cool, I want to be a pirate in the future. I also want, I also want to be a man like brother Zoro. Hey, pirates are an evil party, but he's handsome, isn't he? That's right, and it's awesome. The juniors were chattering and discussing. Koshiro raised his head. His eyes were still narrowed, but the smile on his lips became brighter. Pirates? Maybe it's a good choice. Zoro, I hope you can go further in the way of swordsmanship. Not that no one paid attention to Shin's reward order, but the two who paid the most attention were the two defeated generals not long ago. This amount is too low. Dole lay on the hospital bed again, still smoking a cigarette. She and Shin fought twice, so she naturally knew Shin's strength. The bounty of 100 million was a bit too low for him. Smoker was also on the hospital bed. The two cigars in his mouth and the cigarette in Dole's mouth made the room filled with smoke. He knew some of the reasons, but this reason just made him unhappy. Hidden above is their record this time. It is probably the limit for such an increase. If there is no record and the bounty suddenly increases, it will definitely attract others' attention. The task of defeating Crocodile and saving the country was placed on him, Dole, and Tashigi. He was promoted to Commodore, Tashigi was promoted to Ensign, Dole was promoted to Vice Admiral. Smoker was so disgusted with this way of handling the situation that he even told the correspondent to let his superiors eat their shit. But others kept quiet, and he would not attend the awarding ceremony, but his level was actually improved. Later, the Meli found an uninhabited island with a group of monkeys who looked very similar to Luffy, and everyone stayed there and held a party. All in all, after a period of sailing, Robin finally integrated into the Straw Hat family. Usopp successfully replenished gunpowder on the island. Bang! Smoker was once again dissatisfied with his superiors, he ignored his injuries and turned over to walk out the door. What's more, there is a hedgehog with evil intentions on board. Although they were in hostile camps, everyone did not have the habit of fighting and killing each other when they came up. Shin felt very wrong. All he killed were clear enemies. Well, this little boy didn't do anything. Nami specifically instructed Usopp to hold down the most lethal hedgehog head. But in order to reassure the little boy, Nobu and Zoro were all herded into the cabin. Sanji and Luffy sent the little boy back to the warship. She couldn't be more satisfied with her current situation. After 20 years of intrigue, she had never been as relaxed as she is now. After sailing away from the foggy sea, everyone landed on an island famous for its fireworks and watched a fireworks display at night. After bidding farewell to the salesperson, the Mary accidentally salvaged a marine chef apprentice while sailing into the fog. Training, I can't continue to be so leisurely. Then, under Sanji's guidance, the little boy made curry that conquered the taste buds of various war captains, and successfully rose to the top, changing from a handyman to a formal chef. However, none of this has anything to do with the straw hats. What are you going to do? Dot dot dot. Ads by Bid Gear. Chapter 154 The Turtle Mechanical Beast Appears. Recently, a new member was added to the ship, a turtle. Turtle, do you want to cook it? Yossi, just in time to try my new kitchen knife. Leave a turtle behind under the knife. Shin quickly snatched the turtle from the chopping board. 
This was the experimental material he specially found, not for eating. I saw the turtle held in Shin's arms sticking out his head. When he opened his eyes, his pupils had turned blood red. Sanji looked at it curiously. Are they the same kind as you? No wonder they had to be saved. Who do you think is the turtle? Shin grabbed the turtle and threw it at Sanji. Sanji kicked him back, and Shin punched him back. Finally Sanji ducked out of the way and the poor turtle hit the wall before stopping. The turtle was also stubborn, silent and unmoved. It's not Shin who is in control at all, it's entirely Ogwe's determination. Shin specially caught this turtle to test the ability of munch munch fruit. He just went back to the dormitory to get devil fruit, so he put the turtle here. Control the turtle to eat the munch munch fruit one bite at a time. Although the taste will not be conveyed, you can tell from the turtle's expression that the taste of this thing is definitely not good. Then Shin walked to the deck with Ogwe in his arms, and took out a roll of steel sheet from the warehouse. This was used to repair the ship, and there was a lot of it stored. The appearance of the turtle did not change much, but its teeth became much sharper. It ate a roll of steel in one bite, just like eating biscuits. The armor plate in the center of the turtle shell was pried open, and white steam was sprayed out from the inside. At the same time, a mini white kanai was sprayed out. Why is it this kind of structure? Shin couldn't help but complain that he thought about spitting it out from his mouth or coming out from the back, but it actually came out from the top. Taking the mini kanai, Nobu could feel the obvious difference. So heavy, but so rough. The command just passed was to condense all the steel into a kanai and spit it out, so this mini kanai has the weight of the roll of steel just now. At the same time, Ogwe didn't quite understand what kanai looked like, and the finished product was very rough. Hum. Shin stared at the turtle in front of him in a daze, thinking about what else he could make. This mini kanai has little effect. At most, it can be hung on Zoro's dumbbells to add some weight. Is it a little too small? This turtle is only about the size of two palms at most, so it feels like it can't make anything large. The letter brought both Chopper and Usopp over. The former had seen Wapple's fighting style, and the latter was the great inventor of the straw hats. Who would have thought that such a magical thing as the weather stick was actually created by Usopp? At Chopper's reminder, Shin carried out another roll of steel and fed it to the turtle. This requires it to change itself, at least to become bigger. As the steam rises from the shell, the turtle puts on a suit of steel armor. The originally dull head was covered with a steel helmet, sharp teeth sprouted from the mouth, the face was very ferocious, the limbs became thick, and sharp claws grew. The body size also increased, reaching about two meters in length. When on all fours, it could reach Shin's thighs. Well, Chopper is a lot taller. Very cool. This movement naturally attracted everyone's attention. There is nothing more cool than a shiny mechanical turtle. The three idiots were already riding on the turtle's back and playing, and there were signs of a fight over who was the turtle knight. Zoro and Sanji also came over. Who doesn't like cool things among boys? Girls don't quite understand boys' behavior. He looks cool, isn't he handsome? Naturally, he is very handsome, not only handsome, but also very useful. Under the control of Shin and the command of Usopp, Ogwe successively made armor, knight's gun, and steel horse. I'm not here to play with you, bastard. Seeing Usopp happily cosplaying with the knight, Shin felt that something was wrong. Aren't we discussing what useful props we can make? He sighed. Usopp couldn't count on him, he could only find a way on his own. Right, shuriken. The last time I replenished my ninja tools was the last time. Except for a weapons shop selling shurikens and kanai on the island where I met Zoro, basically no shops on other islands have such things. Sinban is okay, at most it's a longer needle, and Nobu can process it by himself. Kanai and shuriken are fine work, so Nobu has always been very frugal in the use of cutting tools. Another roll of steel was moved from the warehouse, this was the last reserve. Take out the kanai from the knife bag and show it to the turtle in all directions. Sharingan's control alone cannot convey such a clear intention, if there is a real object as a reference, all he needs to do is give the command to let the turtle make the item in front of him. The turtle did not disappoint him, after eating the steel, the benefits of increasing in size appeared. One silver white steel kanai after another was quickly made. But this time it came out not from the back, but from the mouth. Shin didn't mind it either. He stepped forward to pick one up and felt its sharpness and restoration. It's indeed exactly the same. Later, Nobu successively made steel wires, steel shurikens, and steel senbons. With the actual objects as reference, these items were made very smoothly. With an idea, he carried the turtle and flew to the front of the melee, allowing him to carefully observe the sheep's head of the melee. The letter had previously given Luffy a bronze statue of a sheep's head, because he made it himself, it was a little rough. With the help of the turtle, the rough bronze statue became refined, and the whole statue took on a spherical shape, exactly like the sheep's head of the melee. Speaking of which, can this be done? Chopper. Shin held Chopper and showed it again in front of the turtle, just as he guessed. A full-scale steel statue of Chopper was quickly produced from the turtle shell. This is me. Chopper stepped forward excitedly and hugged the steel statue, tears streaming down his face. Woo, from today on, I am also a hero with a statue. 
Letter, I want it too, me too. The disadvantage came out, Luffy and Usopp were hanging on him, like children asking for toys. In the end, they failed to do so, and Chopper's statue was recycled. Luffy curled his lips and refused to look at Shin. Although he nodded his head up and down, any fool knew that he didn't take it to heart. However, Shin made them a batch of mini statues about 10 centimeters, and finally managed to get rid of these three childish ghosts. After all, the Straw Hat's steel reserves were only a little short, which was used to make mini statues. I told you, that would cost a lot of chakra, what to do, captain? Suddenly, a shell hit the sea near the melee, put the turtle that has returned to the size of a palm under Nami's orange tree, and ask Sanji not to forget to give it something to eat while watering it. Water style white dragon, the steel shell on the turtle's body turned back into steel, as did the previous mini kanai, including the pile of ninja tools. Well, let's fly again, while everyone was attracted by the turtle, five warships quietly surrounded the melee. Finally, with Shin's friendly persuasion, Luffy gave up the plan of eating the turtle. Please, at the same time, he repeatedly warned a certain foodie on the boat that he could not eat this turtle no matter how hungry he was. Okay, okay. Including Usopp's night suit, which is too big and takes up space on the boat. The impact carried waves and forced the melee to shake violently. Boom. Adds by Bid Gear Chapter 155 Dr. Henzo who studies rainbow fog. Jing Do Mei Shao Lu Wa Chuan Chao Lu Guan Rakuten Travel HK, 721 Hong Kong Dollars Rakuten Travel. Ri Ben Xing Nei Ling Xian Wang Sheng Lu Sheng Shi. It's so slow, on the warship, the old woman with purple shawl hair put down the telescope in her hand and said. You almost missed this historic moment. Next to her was a blonde old man running over in a hurry, wearing a black vest and sunglasses. Give me the telescope. Taking over the telescope, the old man saw the Mary and Luffy standing at the stern to block the cannonballs. That's right, that's Straw Hat's ship. The old man's tone was full of nostalgia and emotion. A marine soldier came over, saluted and said. The other party has no intention of stopping the ship, and may have to trouble Lieutenant Commander to take action. No, it looks like I can't catch up anymore. The old man put down the telescope in his hand and could clearly see the next scene without using tools. A pale half-length water dragon emerged from the water, held the Mei Li in its mouth, swam forward quickly, and disappeared in the blink of an eye. The enemy fled, and the surrounding soldiers retreated to continue their work. Only the blonde old man and the purple-haired old woman were left on the bow of the ship. The blonde old man looked in the direction where the melee disappeared, with a smile on his lips. Uchihaksen, it's really amazing, ha ha ha, the old woman showed a nostalgic look. The wheel of fortune is starting to turn. Long time no see, Luffy. Dot dot dot, hey, there's an island ahead, the half-length water dragon was flying with the melee in its mouth. Luffy, who was sitting in the special seat, was not blocked from view and shouted excitedly. Let's go up and eat meat, are you kidding me, I must have dessert. Yoshi, let me fall from the sky. The half-body water dragon gradually rose up, with the intention of gathering its lower body to fly. Boom! Stop the genin technique and sail the boat improperly. The hedgehog on the deck was punched in the head, and Nami's roaring shouts were also heard. But it's more handsome to fly over and appear, and it's faster. That's right, eat meat faster, Robin said calmly. But if there is a riot, the hotel will also be closed. Then we won't be able to eat meat and desserts. E.H. Believe it, stop it, I'm already stopping. In the end, under the threat of the hotel closing, the Meli honestly set up its sails and headed towards the island in a normal ship manner. Because the pirate flag was flying, everyone did not choose the port where the ships gathered. Instead, they docked the Meli at the rocky area near the port. Zoro took the initiative to stay and guard the ship, and Shinbu assigned Shadow Clone to do the work. The rest of the group made their way through the rocky belt, preparing to head toward the town. You guys stop, however, before they could get out of the rock zone, a soldier with a gun stopped everyone. If you want to dock at Lulugia port or rocky areas, you have to pay the port entry tax. Port tax? Chopper was carrying his own blue bag with a puzzled expression. Usopp explained. It means we need to pay. I said, why do you have to pay taxes just for stopping the boat? Nami, who regards wealth as her life, was the first to feel dissatisfied. Upon hearing this, the soldier immediately raised his gun with a fierce look on his face. This is the rule of this island, and it is your obligation to pay taxes. Hey, you bastard. Sanji stood between Nami and the soldier. Don't be rude to ladies. The soldier had no intention of truce and said persistently. Do you want to hand it over? Ah, uh, what should I pay? Of course it's the entry tax, but we didn't stop the boat. Shin looked puzzled and pointed at the place where the melee docked. Nani. The soldier opened his mouth. In his sight, there was indeed no ship there. But I clearly saw it. You're blinded, little brother, we didn't sail at all. The redness in his pupils dissipated, and Shin called on everyone to continue moving forward. There's only one person who doesn't understand the situation yet. Luffy. What kind of letter are you talking about? We are obviously sitting here whining. Nami. Okay, okay, shut up and go in. Nami grabbed the idiot captain's mouth, 
and together with everyone, passed over the soldiers who were doubting their life. After entering the town, everyone divided into two groups. Nami, Sanji, and Chopper went shopping together. The rest of the people came to the hotel, and with them was a weird old man. In the hotel, Shin looked unhappy. We agreed to go shopping for clothes, but what you are wearing now is too old-fashioned. Ah, uh, do you think I'm old? No, I mean this old-fashioned dress is not worthy of you when you were young. Thank you for the compliment, but I'm getting older. Don't answer the conversation on your own, you bastard old man. At the dining table, there was a short old man with gray hair and beard who looked very familiar. While eating the pasta served by Usopp, he didn't forget to answer the question. This was the culprit that forced Shin to change his itinerary. After passing the soldiers, the old man walked up carrying a strange instrument. Asking everyone if they had seen the rainbow fog, Shin felt a little familiar, but he didn't care and just assumed he had seen the name somewhere. Robin became interested. She had read the adventure story of Rainbow Fog in a book and wanted to know more information from the old man. The old man happened to be hungry, so he came to the hotel with a few people. The old man called himself Henzo, a genius scientist who studies Rainbow Fog, and asked several people to call him doctor. Genius scientists and PhDs, if he is a genius scientist or doctor, he should not encounter so many discriminatory looks. Even the restaurant owner specifically asked Henzo if he had money to pay the bill. It is said that the Rainbow Mist records the courtyard where the gods live and the entrance to the Kingdom of Gold. Running dog, it started from the moment I entered the hotel. This old man is not welcome here. Henzo and Robin discussed the rainbow fog, while Shen ate Anko rice and observed the reactions of the people around him. It's hard to say whether there are these things inside, but rainbow fog has definitely appeared near this island. This guy is Mayor Witten's lackey. A few guests. The restaurant owner brought a plate of pasta and placed it in front of Yusa, but his eyes were fixed on Henzo, who had his head lowered. He is the sinister scientist who defrauded the mayor of funds and lived a free and easy life. Shin looked up and down, no matter how he looked at Henzo, he didn't look like a rich man. This is why Henzo is dedicated to finding Rainbow Fog. Fifty years ago, Henzo's friends entered the Rainbow Fog and never came back. Carefree. During the conversation between Henzo and Robin, several people also learned what the Rainbow Fog was. Why do you say that? Before he could think about it, a drumbeat sounded. You'd better not believe this man's words. A group of guests behind Luffy also stood up and said, Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 156 The Disappeared Meili Sanjing Hua Yuan Ju Dian Ming Gu Wu Pu Mi Er Rakuten Travel HK. 505 Hong Kong Dollars Rakuten Travel. Re Ben Shing Ne Ling Shi An Wang Shang Lu Sheng Shi. Boom, boom, boom. As the sound of drums came, the guests in the hotel fell into panic and hurriedly ate their food. The collection team is coming. Eat quickly, eat quickly. Boom. Hello, fellow citizens. The door of the hotel was pushed open. A man wearing a purple uniform, square glasses, and a mustache had a smile on his face. Did you enjoy your meal? He moved forward step by step, his eyes fixed on the guests beside him. The wine you drank seems to taste good, don't forget to pay the alcohol tax when you drink. The two soldiers following him stepped forward expressionlessly and forcefully took out the guest's wallet from his pocket. Wait a minute, this is filled with living expenses for my wife and children. Despite the customer's shouts, the soldier handed the entire wallet into the man's hands. He didn't mean to count the money and collected the entire wallet. It is everyone's duty to pay taxes. Those who don't pay taxes are not qualified to live here. Shin felt sick to his stomach. Paying taxes is indeed an obligation, but you should count it anyway. Taking all the money from others is nothing like paying taxes. Magic this is not technique. The leading man glanced around and showed a puzzled expression. It's so strange. Did everyone run away in such a short time? But forget it, collection team, move on to the next store. The soldiers following him also turned a blind eye to the guests around them and kept beating the drums again. With the sound of drums, the collection team left the store. Here, your wallet. Thank you. Thank you. After receiving the wallet handed over by the letter, the man who had been taxed on alcohol had not yet figured out what was going on, so he could only respond blankly. If you want to thank me, tell us what's going on here. Who was that guy just now? From the man's narration, several people learned the details of the island. The mayor here is named Witten, who formulated a series of tax policies. You have to pay port tax when you stop the ship, you have to pay alcohol tax when you drink, you have to pay big plate tax when you eat from a big plate. The man just now was Phillips, the son of Mayor Whitten, who was responsible for tax collection. Compared with the policies formulated by the mayor, the tax collection team's methods are more brutal, they will even make up a reason for tax collection on the spot, just to squeeze out the oil and water from every citizen. As for the reason why they collect taxes so crazily, it's because of him. The diner pointed at Henzo, who had his head lowered, his eyes filled with hatred. He defrauded an unknown amount of funds on the pretext of researching rainbow fog. Look, the diner turned and pointed to the tower outside the window. That tower was built just to find the rainbow fog, it was all built with the money of our citizens. Calm down. Shin stepped forward and held down the excited diners. 
Seeing that the guests around him were about to make a move, he hurriedly took out his wallet from Usopp's pocket. Let's pay the bill and pack another piece of meat and a milkshake. After picking up the packed things, Shin left the hotel with a few people. Henzo would probably get beaten if he didn't leave. Of course, they would not put the blame on Henzo. It's just a transfer of conflict, it's too childish. Wouldn't the citizens' lives be easier without the Rainbow Tower? Impossible. Even if there is no Henzo, there will still be Hazo Henright or something, which is just an excuse for the mayor to collect money. The Rainbow Tower may also be replaced by a pyramid, the mayor's tower, etc. Because your childhood friend disappeared in the Rainbow Fog, so you. Rainbow Fog, I really want to go in and have a look. Before the letter was finished, Captain Luffy expressed his opinion. But how could it be such a coincidence? Henzo had been searching for 50 years but couldn't find it. Could it be that the Rainbow Fog would appear as soon as they came? While everyone was chatting here, the shopping team on the other side also encountered a situation. They say they are a shopping team, but they are actually Nami and two coolies. Sanji was carrying large and small bags, and Chopper transformed into a deer form, carrying loads of supplies on his back. Even Chopper with Zone's demon fruit power couldn't help but complain. Do you still want to buy it? Nami, who was empty-handed, was still full of interest. Of course, girls will definitely need more things. There are also Robin's clothes inside. Hey Chopper, don't let anything fall. Okay, poor Chopper became a tool deer. I'm talking about you guys. Do you think the things you are carrying are very heavy? A voice suddenly came, breaking the lively atmosphere. This also requires paying heavy goods tax. Why is there such a strange tax? Nami immediately complained, what a strange island. The man opposite the three men wore the same uniform as Philip's, but the difference was that he also wore a strange armor on his upper body. There is also a very thick pipe connected to the bicycle generator at the back. There is a soldier above who is pedaling hard. This uncle is the grandson of Mayor Widden, Lake. Perhaps it was the confidence brought by the armor on his body, but Lake's voice was very arrogant. Outsiders, are you trying to evade taxes? The two arms of the armor collided with each other, stimulating a stream of electricity and shooting towards Nami and the other three. Sanji put down the shopping bag in his hand and quickly stood in front of Nami and Chopper, using his body to resist the damage of the electric current. Let me teach you etiquette from the beginning. The electric current brought some black marks on Sanji's face, which made his face even more gloomy. Asshole guy who attacks a lady. No, impossible, this is electricity. The Sanji in front of him looked completely unscathed except for being a little black. Rake angrily shouted at the soldiers. You, have you properly generated electricity for me? The soldier felt that he was wrong and was about to smoke. Electric current? This level is not even one-tenth of that of a certain bastard hedgehog. Sanji picked up the shopping bag and handed it to Chopper, asking the two of them to hide first to avoid being accidentally injured. His feet were wrapped with a bright black armed color. He was not without improvement. Compared with his bare feet in Alabasta, he was already able to wrap the armed color around his shoes. Strange taxes and insolent savages. Sanji sprinted forward, jumped into the air, and aimed his arms colored feet at the transparent mask on Lake's armor. Kick against etiquette. The legs wrapped in armed colors kicked sideways without any pause, breaking through the armored arms of Lake's defense, and kicked the armor's mask into pieces with unabated momentum. The head was hit, and the armored rake flew backwards, knocking down the soldiers behind him. The surrounding citizens had already left for fear of being affected by the fighting. Sanji picked up the shopping bag again, and the three decided to return to the melee first. Carrying so many things makes any movement inconvenient. However, when they leisurely returned to the rocky area where they had previously stopped, the melee was gone. E.H. Where's the melee? Was it taken away by those people? Chopper was a little flustered, thinking that the collection team had taken away the ship. Sanji looked around, trying to find someone. No, the guy with the green algae head is still up there, so this won't happen. Hey, bastard hedgehog, don't play tricks on us with illusions. Nami stopped the kappa looking for the hedgehog. Give up, it's not Shin's illusion. The Mary is really gone. Adds by Bid Gear Chapter 157 in the Rainbow Mist. Look, there. Nami was the only one among the three who had awakened to seeing and hearing, and because of this, she noticed the large sailboat in the distance. And the Mary next to the sailboat. Just for a while, what are they doing? Nami took out the phone bug from her fourth dimensional pocket and dialed Shin's number. Bulu Bulu. Click, I am Monkey D. Luffy, the man who will become the Pirate King. Don't introduce yourself to me every time, asshole. After a while of noise, Nami learned what happened. To put it simply, a large sailing ship suddenly appears, and Doctor Strange drives there in a cool little boat. The idiot captain chose to follow with the Mary. After Henzo's observation, this ship was the same ship he saw 50 years ago. Then Henzo's instrument reacted, a rainbow fog appeared, and several people were preparing to drive the melee to the rainbow fog. Wait, what do we do? Um, why don't you guys take a stroll some more? We're going in. The phone bug's communication was interrupted, and Nami's perception of the melee was also lost. Really? After hanging up the phone, Nami said with a worried look on his face. 
Why would you want to go to such a dangerous place when you've been cut off from seeing, hearing, and seeing? Then, the three people who stayed behind set off to the port coast, which was the closest to the rainbow fog. On the other side, on the Mary in the rainbow fog. Shin, Shadow Clone, Luffy, Usopp, Robin, Dr. Henzo, including Zoro who was guarding the ship, all gathered on the front deck. The surroundings are slightly dim, there is no obvious light source but it allows people to see the surrounding environment clearly. The sea turned an eerie green and was littered with shipwrecks, which looked very old. Legend has it that this is the pirate's graveyard, a mysterious place that you can't leave once you enter. Robin's face was solemn and he calmly said terrible words. Usopp was obviously frightened, and his whole body was trembling. Luffy, on the other hand, got interested. A place like this sounds like it's worth the risk. Shin, Shin's situation is very wrong. He was frowning and closing his eyes, thinking about something. The shadow clone next to him also had a frown on his face. Robin came over and asked, You've been frowning since you first entered, did you notice something was wrong? Shin opened his eyes, and the three Magatama in his eyes were spinning crazily. I don't know, maybe it's something left behind by me before. Since entering the rainbow fog, Sharingan turned on by itself uncontrollably and began to spin wildly. Shin also sensed that something existed in this space. You before? Well, it's a bit complicated, let's talk about it later. Luffy. What's the matter? I want to go out. Okay. Wait a moment. Usopp couldn't help but interjected. This is the pirate graveyard, don't leave the team so casually. Robin also had a worried look in his eyes, and he advised. Yes, this is the legendary rainbow mist. I don't know how many explorers have disappeared here. It doesn't matter, I believe I won't let you die. Shin explained to the two of them, and he left in a hurry after removing the shadow clone. Shadow clone couldn't sense that thing, so he went out on his own. Robin didn't quite understand the last sentence left in the letter. Long-nosed man, what did I mean before that sentence? By the way, you don't know yet. Usopp suddenly realized that the newly joined Chopper and Robin did not know about Shin's amnesia. As Usopp told it, Robin finally understood what the phrase, I believe I won't let me die, actually meant. Previous experiences have shown that the previous letters were well prepared, and I believe it will be the same this time. Moreover, since the previous letter can put something here for the current letter, it means that the environment here does not pose much threat to the letter. Thinking of this, Robin relaxed a little and continued to observe the surrounding scenery. Zoro was still sleeping soundly, and the melee also stopped. Luffy couldn't wait to run to the surrounding shipwrecks and start his adventure. Usopp followed Luffy cautiously, although he was afraid, he was also eager for adventure in his heart. The two also moved out a treasure chest filled with gems from the abandoned ship next to the melee. Fortunately Nami wasn't here, otherwise the surrounding area would have been looted. Those who disturb the rest of the dead, leave your supplies and leave here quickly. Before Luffy could set out to explore again, strangers' voices echoed around him. Otherwise, you will encounter the curse of the dead. Several white ghosts rose from the wreckage of the ship not far away, as if there was really a curse from the dead. Um? Usopp frowned and retreated behind Luffy. Luffy sensed something was wrong at the same time and grabbed the arrow that was aimed at Zoro. But he and Usopp didn't look at the ghost, but instead stared at the stern of an abandoned ship. Usopp. Clear. Must kill five lead star companies. Usopp reacted quickly, took out his slingshot, and shot in five directions quickly. The observation deck above the ship where the ghost appeared. The stern of the abandoned ship the two windows on the ship next to it, and the deck of the ship next to it. Ah, asterisk 4 Usopp didn't use his full strength, he noticed, the enemy was just a child. Strangely, a lead bullet fired at the deck seemed to bounce off. Robin activated his ability to pull the four hit children onto the melee. A little girl with purple hair, a younger child, a skinny kid in green clothes, and a fat kid in overalls. There is also a blonde kid who comes out with a bomb and wants to rescue his friends. It was the appearance of the blonde kid in the bomb that convinced Henzo that he was not dreaming. Rabane, it is indeed you, he shouted excitedly. And Isoka, Lungo, Akbi, and Bakao, don't you recognize me? It's me. Henzo from Luriga Island, Henzo who formed the Pumpkin Pirates with you 50 years ago. However, Henzo said a lot, but Rabin on the opposite side still did not let down his guard, holding up the bomb in his hand and yelling. How is that possible? Don't come any closer, or I will detonate the bomb. Henzo stepped forward without fear and pressed the bomb switch. Boom. There was a flash of dazzling golden light. The bomb did not explode, but cracked open. Inside was a mini pirate flag. Bomb number three was invented by me. Henzo's eyes were filled with nostalgia. But Rabane still couldn't believe that the old man in front of him was his playmate, so he slammed down the cracked bomb in his hand. Boom. Smoke filled the air instantly, blocking everyone's view. Usopp covered his nose. Is it a smoke bomb? Ah, is it done yet? You just woke up now. Adds by Bid Gear Chapter 158 Strange Space. Dong Jing Jin Mi Ting Jing Sheng Richmond Fan Dian Rakuten Travel HK, 503 Hong Kong Dollars Rakuten Travel, 
Ri Ben Xing Nei Ling Xian Wang Shang Lu Xing Shi. Zoro also woke up due to the impact of the smoke. When the smoke dissipated, the few little devils had disappeared. Then, Henzo explained to everyone about the pumpkin pirates. Fifty years ago, he and Rabane and others were good playmates and agreed to become pirates together. Rabane was a true leader, and Henzo also showed his talent as a scientist from that time on. That's when Bomb 3 was invented. The days of peace and tranquility were short-lived. Pirates led by Witten attacked and burned, killed and looted the town. Henzo and others were playing in the rocky area at the time and hurried over after seeing the thick smoke rising from the town. The adults have already taken refuge, and only the plundering pirates are left in the town. A group of imps were naturally no match for the pirates, but all the ships in the port were destroyed. They had no choice but to board Witten's pirate ship. Of course, Witten would not let a few brats take away his ship, so he chased after them alone. During the fight, they broke the rudder, causing the ship to move forward. The rainbow fog also appeared at this time, and the ship that could not be turned sailed into the rainbow fog with several people in Laban and a pirate guarding the ship. Henzo seized the opportunity and knocked Witten off the ship with his body, and he himself fell into the sea. In this way, Rabane and his party entered the rainbow fog, while Henzo and Whedon stayed. In order to find Rabane and his party, Henzo kept looking for traces of the rainbow fog. But it was never found. Whedon knew the legend of the rainbow mist, which was said to contain countless treasures. He chose to stay on Luluga Island with the remaining pirates, and with the help of his men, he soon became the mayor here. And formulated a strict tax policy to collect money, and the pirates turned into a collection team. One is for the treasure in Rainbow Mist, and the other is for the companions in Rainbow Mist. Henzo and Witten began a collaboration, with Witten providing funding and Henzo conducting research. The two worked together to find traces of the Rainbow Fog. Until today, 50 years later, Henzo and Witten have become half-broken old men. The personnel of the collection team were changed one batch after another. Henzo also became a sinister scientist among the citizens. Although I'm sorry for those citizens, I will never regret it. Robin didn't mean to blame Henzo. She thought the same as Shin, even if there was no Henzo, there would still be Henho and so on. What she cares about is another important point. In other words, does the flow of time inside the rainbow fog differ from the outside? Yes, a day here may be equivalent to a year outside. Henzo replied in the affirmative. Usopp suddenly felt bad, then let's get out quickly. Luffy, who never listened carefully, still didn't understand the situation. Why? You are really slow. In other words, if we stay here for too long. Nami and the others outside may turn into old women and old men. Nani. Then let's go back quickly. That is to say, there is no way to go back now. Nani. Is that so? After careful consideration, Captain Luffy made a decision. Full speed ahead. Luffy sat in the special seat, ensuring that the melee went straight forward. But soon everyone discovered that something was wrong. The wreckage of a ship with a human figure on the bow appeared in front of everyone several times. Robin activated his ability and used the cannon on the bow of the melee to fire a shot forward and the cannonball fired forward unexpectedly appeared strangely behind the melee. Robin came to the conclusion, sure enough, space is distorted. Is space distorted? The credit ultralight heavy rock technique, who left alone, followed the perceived direction and moved forward in the sky. However, after flying for a while, he realized that something was wrong, and he seemed to be spinning in circles. This is definitely not a cyclic space, it can only be caused by space distortion that causes him to keep spinning in one place. It is somewhat similar to the effect of illusion in Fox's mind. The method to crack it is also very simple. Shin wraps the shuriken with wire and uses the flying shuriken to explore the laws of this space. He thought he was not very good at science, but it was strange that he determined the rules here after just a few throws. He continued to move forward, turning left and right, and the thoughts in his mind did not stop. Shadow clone cannot sense it, so it is most likely not chakra residue. Coupled with Sharingan's abnormality, it may be something related to blood. Another pair of Sharingan? If true, where did it come from? I can't have a younger brother, right? Even so, the time doesn't match up, and the memory of time travel is correct. He came to this world when he was 15 years old and had been entangled with Smoker for two and a half years. How could a younger brother suddenly appear? Moreover, in the past few years, Henzo found no records of Rainbow Fog. How did the previous self get in? Shin thought about various possibilities in his mind, and the more he thought about it, the more he felt that it was impossible for him to reach the Rainbow Mist before. Unless there is another entrance to Rainbow Mist, and it happens to be in East Blue. Feel it, right under the water. The letter was stuck in the air, and he sensed that the thing he wanted to find was under the water, but there seemed to be a barrier between it. Roar. A sudden roar from below interrupted his thoughts. A giant snake-like sea beast jumped out of the water, ready to swallow him whole. Sorry, I don't have time to talk to you now. Immersed in Sharingan's illusion, dot huh? After Shin dodged the attack, he was about to use Sharingan to kill the sea monster Hypnosis. Then he discovered that the sea creature had no eyes. Lightning-style pseudo-darkness. The sea beast was not too big, and the sharp lightning gun went directly through its head to kill it. 
The blood fell into the water, and the surrounding sea seemed to be boiling, constantly surging. Three eyeless sea beasts emerged from the water and launched an attack on the letter in the sky. Why are there so many beasts without eyes? Shin's palm flashed with thunder, and accompanied by the chirping of a thousand birds, he fought with these three eyeless sea beasts. The battle ended quickly. Even if the illusion was useless, the three beasts were not strong enemies for him. Following his perception and heading underwater, Shen found a hole glowing with white light on the bottom of the sea. There won't be a peerless master who's about to die inside, right? When I get in, you'll see that my bones are amazing. Do you want to accept me as your apprentice and teach me unparalleled magical skills? What is this, a cliché spelunky adventure? The random thoughts in his mind did not interrupt Shin's movements. Open black lens bracket shadow clone technique close black lens bracket boom. Shadow clone appeared and rushed into the cave with a heroic expression. After waiting for about three minutes, the shadow clone dissipated on its own. After confirming that there was no danger inside, Shin rushed into the cave. Boom. The hedgehog landed on its head. This is a fantasy space, surrounded by clouds that are visible and intangible. It looks like nothingness, but there is an obvious support point under Shin's body. But Shin didn't see what he was looking for in the first place. Instead, I saw two people, one was a blonde kid, and the other was. Luffy. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 159 Mangekio Sharingan? Ah, uh, do you believe you can come in and play too? What a joke, how did you get in? Also, who is this kid? I'm not a kid, I'm Rabane, the captain of the Pumpkin Pirates. Okay, okay, please let my captain speak first. That's right, we met a really powerful ghost. And then, Nami and Sanji turned into an old woman and an old man. Stop. Shin waved his hand and pinched the captain's mouth, feeling regretful in his heart. I must be out of my mind to ask an idiot to explain the situation. Anyway, what are you going to do now? Get out. Yeah, do you want to come with me? I haven't finished my work yet. Do you know where the exit is? If you don't know, come with me first. The exit is over there, Luffy pointed in one direction with a sure look on his face, and Shin was deeply pleased. Although it's not clear how Luffy knew this, at least Luffy was smarter this time. Did Robin tell you before you came in? No, then how do you know where the exit is? Just feel it. After bidding farewell to Luffy and the other two, Shin called Usopp, mainly because the newly joined Robin didn't have a phone bug yet. Bulu Bulu, click, I'm Uchiha Nobu, a ninja. Why do you have to introduce yourself too? Have you been infected by that idiot Luffy? Give Robin the phone bug. You pornographic hedgehog, this is obviously my phone bug. I just met Luffy, how did he get in? Nani, Usopp realized the importance of the matter and sent the phone bug to Robin and Henzo, who were the most knowledgeable. The two wrote a concise and quick letter describing what happened. Encountering several little gangsters, Henzo recognized them as his companions from 50 years ago. The kid escapes, and Henzo explains that time flows differently in the rainbow fog. In order to get out, the melee moved forward, and everyone found that the space here was distorted. Robin took action and caught Bakao, the little devil who was exploring near the melee. Under the leadership of Bakao, they found the base of the Pumpkin Pirates, a warship. Henzo finally convinced Rabane that he was really Henzo. The phone bug rang, destroying the trust between the two again. It was a call from Witten. During the conversation, Rabain discovered that Henzo was actually in partnership with Witten, who destroyed the town. The anger was ignited instantly, he had not experienced 50 years. Witten's destruction of the town was just a matter of time ago for him. During the quarrel between the two, Luffy was playing around on the melee and ejected himself to the front of the melee. Due to the distortion of space, Luffy would return to the melee from the rear. As a result, something unexpected happened. The ejected Luffy bumped into Rabain, and the two flew out together, disappearing after being distorted in space. The captain was missing and everyone was anxious when they received a call from Shin. They are safe now. Judging from Luffy's feeling, they should be able to get out soon. Really? That's great. It was Henzo who said this, most likely not caring about Luffy, but caring about Rabain. After understanding Luffy's situation, Shin told everyone about his current situation so that they don't have to worry. I cracked the laws of space distortion and fought sea monsters, I finally got here. In the end, Luffy came in just for fun, after hanging up the phone, Shin sighed and felt what he was looking for again. Because there was no reference around him, he didn't know how far he had flown. I only know that the feeling between blood vessels in my heart is getting stronger and stronger. In the end, what appeared before his eyes was far beyond his imagination. A ball of light the size of a basketball was suspended in the air, radiating soft white light around it. There are about 10 Konoha marks engraved on the ball of light. It's the Konoha seal on the Konoha village ninja forehead protector. But now he didn't pay attention to the ball of light, Sharingan's rotation had stopped, and it was filled with complicated emotions. Mangekio Sharingan, the letter opened in disbelief. In front of the light ball, I saw two small round balls standing steadily. The familiar red pupils, but inside are not the familiar magatama, but a shuriken-like pattern. As shown in the picture a pair of eyeballs were positioned at exactly the same height as Nobu's eyes, 
and a pair of three Magatama and a pair of Mangekyo looked at each other silently. What are these? Whose eyes do these belong to? Wait a minute, let's clear our thoughts first. Shin scratched the back of his head and thought about the origin of these eyes. If he had a brother, these eyes would belong to his brother. Then, in pursuit of the eternal Mangekyo, his brother stepped in to seal his memories and help in secret. When he also becomes Mangekyo, the brothers will step forward to control him and take away his Mangekyo. That's not right. These Mangekyo are right in front of me now, if there really is a brother, wouldn't he be blind now? The letter denied the brother's conjecture, but for a while he couldn't think of other possibilities. The previous self used three Magatama to fight against Mangekyo and successfully killed the opponent? Are you kidding, I'm not Sasuke. Besides, it's impossible to say whether this thing was left behind by my previous self. According to previous calculations, the previous self did not have time to arrive here. For the time being, he couldn't figure out the origin of this pair of Mangekyo, so Nobu could only put it away first. He has no plans to transplant, and the eyes are not hot swappable, plug and play. If there are any traps hidden in this pair of Mangekyo, it will be even worse than the game. Then his eyes turned to the ball of light, which was also very suspicious. The symbol of Konoha, the exact number is 11. Shin looked up and down and confirmed the number of Konoha. These marks were not evenly distributed, but scattered in various parts of the light ball. 11. What does it mean? Have 11 Konoha Shinobi been here? Am I the 12th? He reached out and wanted to poke it, but unexpectedly it went right through. This thing is not physical. Combining the abilities of ninjas with the fine traditions of pirates, Shin made a decision. If you are in doubt, try sending some chakra first. When the chakra comes into contact with the ball of light, Shin can feel it and he can use the chakra to paint on it. The 11 Konoha symbols on the light ball probably came from this, but I don't know who painted them. The ball of light is absorbing chakra very quickly, without any intention of stopping. As the chakra was absorbed, a tadpole-like symbol appeared on the light ball. Seal again. The letter is full of black lines. You can't get past the seal, right? You can encounter seals wherever you go. As time went by, those tadpole-like symbols formed spells one after another. Hum, it's a bit like the pattern of the magnet-style Rasengan. Is there a Shukaku sealed inside? There is no answer to this question for the time being. The light ball is still absorbing chakra without any intention of stopping. How long will this thing last? By the way, do I have to learn how to make balls? Rasenshuriken and lightning style Rasengan. Can the lightning style Rasengan be perceived by the color of sight? Shin was thinking wildly while competing with the ball of light. On the other side, Luffy finally took Lebane back outside. Back on the Mary. Ads by Bid Gear Chapter 160Y. Dong Jing Jin Mi Ting Jing Sheng Richmond Fan Dian Rakuten Travel HK, 503 Hong Kong Dollars Rakuten Travel, Ri Ben Xing Nei Ling Xian Wang Shang Lu Xing Shi. Ah ho, come out, come out, it actually came out through intuition. Luffy stood on the deck with his arms raised, and Rabane looked like he was surviving the disaster. However, no one came to answer their cheers. The atmosphere on the ship was very gloomy, and there were a few more people on the ship. Luffy tilted his head and asked curiously, Nami, did you come in to play too? Oh, Nami sighed. Yes, we came in to play too. At this time, Nami, Sanji, and Chopper who were originally outside were all on the melee. In addition, there was a tied up person on the melee. From the perspective of Nami and others, after the melee entered the rainbow fog, they came to the port and waited for everyone. Because of the appearance of large sailing ships, there were many onlookers at the port. Naturally, it also attracted the mayor here, Witten. He recognized it at a glance as his former pirate ship, and immediately noticed the rainbow fog behind the sailboat. He called Henzo and after confirming that Henzo was in the rainbow fog, he immediately took action. He dispersed the surrounding citizens, took out the safety device that Henzo had researched, and prepared to assign a person to the rainbow mist. If this person could come back, he would march aggressively to plunder the treasures in the rainbow mist. His target, Nami, is three people, because several people defeated Lake and are enemies. But it was obvious that these rotten fish and shrimps were no match for Sanji. Widen's flame armor and Lake's thunder armor had the same ending, being kicked to pieces by Sanji. However, Nami and the other three also wanted to enter the rainbow fog. Instead of completely solving Widen, they asked him how to enter the rainbow fog. The answer is too simple. The rainbow tower, which has been built for many years, is actually a telescopic bridge. Its only feature is the conveyor belt. The safety device does not deserve the name safety at all, because it is just a bundle of wire. The so-called safety device is to tie one end of the iron wire to the person's body and connect the other end to the outside, so that people who enter the rainbow fog can come back along the iron wire. Although the device is very simple, it is very effective. A soldier who is afraid of death returns successfully from the rainbow fog. The rainbow tower fell toward the sea, and the extended bridge penetrated into the rainbow fog, extending to a location not far from the melee. Witten and his men filed in, followed closely by Nami. Nami fought with the soldiers for treasure on the road, with Sanji protecting her. Chopper rushed to the melee as soon as possible. Then, everyone proposed to use the rainbow bridge to leave, 
but Widen suddenly went crazy and wanted to keep the treasure to himself. Forget about keeping the treasure to himself, he still wants to kill everyone in the Straw Hats. This time, the public was outraged. Zoro and Sanji took action and finished killing his miscellaneous fish in less than three minutes. Here comes the stupidest thing. In fact, the other members of the Straw Hats don't care much about the treasure, and they don't even care much about attacking him. As long as he surrenders and is more sincere, the Straw Hats might still consider him a friend. As a result, he actually thought of blowing up the Rainbow Bridge. He took the opportunity to slip away to the outside world and blew up the Rainbow Bridge neatly. The Straw Hats and some of his soldiers were left behind in the Rainbow Fog, and Widen himself didn't collect much treasure. It can be said that both sides suffer losses. As for the guy who was tied up, he was the shipguarding pirate who followed LeBain and his group into the Rainbow Fog 50 years ago. He was originally imprisoned in a cell on the warship by Rabain and others, but the younger boy named Lungo suddenly felt soft and released him. The shipguarding pirates wanted to rob the melee, but the result was predictable. Zoro didn't even draw his sword and knocked him down with one punch. At the same time, Henzo also observed a terrible situation. The spatial distortion is becoming more and more serious, even reaching the level that can be observed with the naked eye. In about an hour, the twisted space will tear the melee apart. Anyway, we have to find a way out quickly. After explaining everything, Nami clenched his fist hard to encourage himself. Although there were treasures everywhere here, it would be useless to have more treasures if he didn't go out. Usopp was very frustrated. That's what I said, but what should I do? There is no way to solve the strange space distortion. Robin was flipping through the information, looking for a way out. Chopper spread his legs and sat directly on the deck, with tears in his eyes. What should we do? Are we going to be trapped here forever? Sanji's expression is quite calm. I just wanted to ask, where is the hedgehog? Maybe his ninjutsu can help. That's right, letter. Nami hurriedly took out the phone bug from her fourth dimensional pocket. Bulu Bulu, click, Moses Moses, here is the letter. Letter. Usopp grabbed the phone bug and shouted with all his strength. The Mary is on the shoal. The rainbow bridge has been blown up. There are treasures all around. Find a way for us to escape. Ah, the phone bug hesitated for a long time and made a confused sound. Although what Usopp said was very confusing, Shin still understood the meaning of running away quickly. Are you going to leave Rainbow Fog after all? Give me a moment and I'll take you out. That's great. Usopp's expression instantly relaxed, and the rest of the Straw Hats also breathed a sigh of relief. Sanji, I want to eat, the legendary Rainbow Fog, let's have a special outdoor barbecue. I want wine. I want marshmallows, I want rice balls. Go get it yourself, you bastards. I want a glass of orange juice. Hi, Nami-san, coming soon. Robin Chan, do you want something to drink? Then please give me a cup of black tea, happy to oblige. In the blink of an eye, the Straw Hats, who were nervous just now, were ready to have a leisurely picnic. Others on the boat could not understand this situation, is this the time to eat? Why do you trust that guy named Shin so much? If he is lying, you really won't be able to get out. Zoro found the wine and said leisurely, leaning on the guardrail on the second floor. Luffy showed a puzzled expression and tilted his head, feeling strange about this question. Look, there's sunshine over there, as long as you paddle towards there, you might be able to get out of here. Shin is my partner. Are you kidding me? No matter how magical it is, there must be a limit. This is the legendary rainbow fog. It doesn't matter, the letter said he would take us out. That's right, Nobu is a ninja, it's very magical. Henzo has been studying the rainbow fog for 50 years but has not thoroughly studied it. Is Shin the person we met earlier? Oh, do you want to leave? There is no boat for you on the melee? What why? Ah. The remaining soldiers had no right to speak, but Rabain shouted to several people. Seeing that everyone in the straw hats started to eat, Nami even ordered Usopp to collect treasures from the surrounding area. Luffy chewed bread in his mouth and said with a smile. Is it time to eat now? We have to find a way out quickly. Kabani's mood gradually stabilized, but he still didn't understand the current situation. Ads by Bidgear. 